Move that down there. All right, I think we're good to go. Click on that go live. Wipe that green light, guys. <coughs> well, oh, geez, we're on. There you go. <laughs> hey, guys, how you going? It's the Down Big Our Sport. We're here for the Sydney Roosters taking on the Penrith Panthers, man. And this should be a big game here on Thursday night, man. A really, really big game at Allianz Stadium. The Roosters are a dollar fifty-two favourites to the Panthers, being two dollar forty-eight underdogs. Uh, and yeah, like I said, this is only a stadium, man. And look, both these teams, uh, one of them is a team that's aspiring to be where the Panther Panthers are. And, and they've got the expectations that they're going to be great. And they've got all these expectations. And have not necessarily proven it just yet in the Roosters. You know, obviously they beat the Rabbitohs very, very well last week. Very, very well, which is great for them. Uh, but they did also lose to Manly the week before that, and they beat the Broncos over there in Vegas. So, you know, this game will go a long way to telling us where the Roosters are at. If they lose it, it'll tell me a lot about where they're at because Nathan Cleary is out in this game with the Panthers. But if they win it, it's like I will be definitely on the path to believing. Now, obviously, you guys know I put them in second in my preseason premiership contending uh, my, my, my table and whatnot. So winning this game would go a long way into to telling us kind of where this... Um, yeah, it would, well, it would tell us a, a decent little bit about them because the Panthers are still good enough. You know, I've still tipped the Panthers in this game. I have. I have still tipped the Panthers in this game despite the fact there's no Nathan Cleary. So it'll it will tell us, it'll go on the right direction, right? Telling us that the Roosters are a genuine contender this year. Whilst the Panthers, like I said, are without Cleary tonight. So they've got to put Brady Schneider in and... It's going to be interesting to see how they flow, whether Luai can lead. And I feel like this is a big game for the Tigers fans to acknowledge and really look at because obviously you're getting Luai next year and he's meant to be your leader in the seven. So I think this is a really, really good game to see how Luai stands up as the leader in the halves specifically and in the spine uh, to really get this team going despite the fact that he's got a much better team than the Panthers than he does with the Tigers. Still a very important game there. So, yeah, look, uh, let's get into the two-team lines here, guys, and then we'll talk about TBC Live uh, and to get into the chats that you guys are saying. Obviously, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. And let's crack on, baby. Let's crack on. Now, the ins here for the Roosters, Egan Butcher and Luke Keary, with the outs being Lindsay Collins and Sandon Smith. The fullback, James Sadesco, who is captain, with the wingers being Daniel Tupo and Dom Young, centers of Joseph Suali'i and also Joseph Manu. You've got 5'8", uh, Luke Keary, and Sam Walker as the halfback, with the front rowers being Jared Rear Hargraves and Terrell May, with the number nine being Brandon Smith. You go to the back row, Nat Butcher and Satili Tupanua, with Victor Radley as the lock. You go to the interchange, you've got Connor Watson, uh, Nafahu White, Egan Butcher, and Angus Crichton, uh, with the 18th minute placement being Michael Jennings, who comes into the team here. Uh, it's quite funny, obviously, uh, the old Barata Squeals days of Michael Jennings. He's a very good player back in the day. I think he even played with the Panthers, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, could be wrong. Uh, my mind's are very, very frazzled, so do forgive me. Uh, but yeah, look, this Roosters team has no excuses, man. They really don't. You know, although they have lost Lindsay Collins, and although they don't have Spencer Lenniu, they've still got a forward pack that should do some, some good old damage, man. And yeah, I, I don't think the Roosters have a single excuse not to win this game. Uh, but with that being said, the Roosters in recent years have always not had excuses, but find a way to lose and find a way to under-deliver on over-expectations. So this game will tell me a lot if they can deliver on the expectations. The Panthers on the other side, they've got Brad Schneider and Maverick Gaia in, with the outs being Nathan Cleary and Scotty Sorensen. The fullback, Dylan Edwards, with the wingers being Sonia Toruva and Brian Toto. Centers of Isaac Tungle and Taylor May. They go to the 5'8", Jerome Luai with the halfback being Brad Schneider. Front rowers of Moses Leota and Lindsay Smith with the number 9 being Mitch Kenny. Back row, Luke Garner and Liam Martin with the 13 being Isaiah Yo, who was captain. The interchange, Dane Laurie, Matty Eisenhuth, Liam Henry and Maverick Geyer with the 18th men replacement being Sonny Luke. So... Yeah, outside of the fact that Nathan Cleary's not there, which is a big loss, and it's like Scotty Sorensen is a is a decent loss for sure, but it's nothing that I believe will lose a game over. Obviously, Cleary in and out can definitely be a game changer in regards to a win or a loss. Uh, I still feel like Brad Schneider is good enough to get the win here, and this Panthers team has always been a team that just knows how to churn them out. You know, you've got Jack Cogger who comes through. Uh, you've got, uh, who is the other one? It's like a toe that came from the Panthers as well. You know, these guys have just come through the system and then you've got, obviously got Nathan Cleary and just know what they're doing. And look, I think the Brad Schneider, despite coming across on the Raiders, might have had something to do with the Panthers system coming up. I'm not too sure. Uh, but the point of the matter is, is that he is the second in charge and the Panthers do believe in him. So look, I, I feel like the Panthers still win tonight. I just do. 
the Roosters definitely can and probably should win this game, to be completely honest with you. Um, but I'm just going to say the, the slight little underdog here of the Panthers, I don't think a significant amount changes in this game. But then again, if the Roosters believe that they are premiership contenders and potentially premiership winners, then they need to win this game with no Nathan Cleary. Because otherwise, they might be in a little bit of danger when he does come back. But there's my little analysis on this game, guys. Uh, like I said, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Now, obviously, I'm going to tell you about TVC Live, uh, the uh, sports uh, app that is something that we've been playing all season long so far. It's been a really great app to get amongst it. Also, really giving us something extra to talk about during the game, man. You know, obviously, TVC Live, the pinned comment in the chat. Uh, is a great app that you get to predict what's happening next in the game. And you can win weekly prizes. It's a completely free app. You have no money to spend at any stage of the app. And you can win a $100 NRL gift voucher if you're the best setter. But you've got to beat me. And that doesn't happen too much, son. Does not happen too much. So um, if you beat me or you beat, uh, I think, Lockie's... Lockie's uh, NRL, uh, my my is frazzled right now. I'm thinking NRL Vision right now, Lockie. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, you've got to beat us uh, to get it. But it is uh, a great app that you guys should go and check out. If you think Joey Manu is going to run for 10 meters, or oh, 10 meters, if you're going to think he's going to run for 50 meters in the next 10 minutes, then go and put that there. You can vote with 842 stake and, and all the jazz. And I can actually, I'm now a, a moderator on this show. So I can go and make a prediction for half an hour and I can do the long-term game. So let's see how we go in regards to that one. But we do appreciate them for sponsoring the channel here on Big Air Sports. So go and show them some love. It's a great app. But alright guys, let's get into the chat. Let's see what you guys are saying. Like I said, thumbs up, subscribe. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, son. Open that little bad boy. There we go. Olivia Reed with the $8 donation. Appreciate you, Olivia. Says, I'm exhausted. I just got home and got a beer. But another day, another donation. Happy weekend, everyone. Appreciate you, Olivia. Trust me. Oh, I need a beer right now. <laughs> I need a beer right now. But we're always consistent, man. We crack on. And I appreciate all the support you guys do show. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much, Olivia. Lockie's NRL. There you go. Sorry, bro. My brain was just frazzled. I couldn't even think of you. Like, if it was NRL or NRL Vision, I was all over the shop. Uh, but he's here, get around ya. OPG says Warriors all day. Yeah, big game for them on Sunday. No, when do they play? Because tomorrow's Broncos Cowboys, and we've also got the uh, Rabbitohs Dogs game. Saturday, we've got Dragons, Manly, and Titans, Dolphins. Eels versus Tigers on Monday. So Sunday has to be. Is it Warriors Knights? Is that who's playing on Sunday? That's what I've come down to. Yeah, Warriors Knights on Sunday. I was right. Jeez, look at me go, son. Let me go. I don't even know my own name right now, but yet uh, I can tell you what, what rugby league games are on this weekend. So <laughs> let's get into it. Um, Thomas says, up the doggies. Uh, Richard Riker says, up the Waz. Uh, good evening and go Roosters. Well, there you go. What was you Go Roosters. Oh, okay. I get why you wouldn't like the Panthers. I get why you wouldn't, I wouldn't like them. Flurry says, evening. Hello, Flurry. How you doing? Uh, DP NRL says, what a game this will be. Let's go to Paz. TDC Sports, my boy. Uh, but that fans is round four. Here we come, man. Have a good, great stream, legend. Yep, yeah, here we come, son. Here we come. Gonna be big. Uh, Panthers is two and three. Says hype for this one. First time at the stadium, and it's fantastic. Go the mighty Penrith Panthers and Maverick Guy all the way. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Guy. Oh, yeah, I'm really, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing is it Maverick Guy here today. Uh, some really great reports about him. You know, people always uh, people always love to talk up a, a, a lot of players, but you know, there is especially in Penrith right now. Like every player they bring through just seems to be the guy. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how he can go. He's obviously the number 17 tonight, I believe. Uh, Thomas Tommy Guns is Roosters 13 plus a run through Penrith. Trust me. Well, you'd hope so. You'd hope so, Thomas, because they've got no Nathan Cleary, so they've got excuses, right? So Roosters fans might be like, ah, oh, don't you got no excuses? They've got excuses. They have excuses. The Panthers. When they're missing their starting seven, they do. And they're also missing a great player in Scotty Sorensen as well. Yes, you guys are missing two of your better front rowers. But at the end of the day, that's not Nathan Cleary. You know, so the Panthers do have excuses in this game. Slapper, my boys, his toothless blokes versus latte sippers. What a game. Yeah, get her. Stop cheating, Lockie. <laughs> Stop cheating, Lockie. Stop cheating, buddy. Uh, but yeah, the old latte sippers versus toothless blokes, you reckon? <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I called Haynes the uh, latte sipper today. He's actually it. So, I don't know how you... Uh, some people... Um, <laughs> Jay, big fan. But, 
The old Hazy, he's going to be streaming here this week for the Titans versus Dolphins game whilst I'm at it. Um, yeah, that'll be an interesting one there. But uh, yeah, he'll be he'll be streaming with you guys on uh, the Titans versus Dolphins game on SAP. Uh, Wonky Donkey TV says Schneider was class last season in Super League. Looking forward to seeing how he goes. Oh, so he's in the Super League. I knew that he was at Canberra and he was like the understudy or the next guy down from. I think it was either Jam I think it was Jamal, wasn't it? Or was it uh, George? Oh, what was his name? George something. George something. George was the previous seven before Fog. George something. I can't remember his name. He was from the Super League. An Englishman. Luke, this round has potential for loads of upsets. Oh, yes, it does. And I will pray to the almighty God above that we get our win on Saturday. Because trust me, we as a club need it. And I'm not going to say any more than that. But we as a club need it. Aguero says, a coffee sippers, 24, no tea, 16. It's the latte sippers, Aguero. Get into the mind. George Williams. Thank you, Brad Craig. George Williams. Get into the mind. Latte sipper. Latte. Not the coffee sippers. The latte sippers, son. Latte. Uh, Olivia Reed says, who's playing Monday? Uh, Easters and Tigers. <laughs> Easters and Tigers. <laughs> The Easters and Tigers, the Eels and Tigers on Easter Monday. Eels and Tigers on Easter Monday. My fingers crossed the F Larry O. No idea. We, we need a win on Saturday badly. Jet Season says, Roosters Death win this one. Panthers have lost key players. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they have to, Jet Season. They have to, man. They just have to do it. Slap up, my guy. Appreciate you for the fifty dollar return donation. Trust me, I appreciate it. Right now, it says eating a pizza right now reminded me of you, so go and get one. <laughs> oh no, mate! You see the size of me? I got called Kung Fu Panda on last last week's vlog, mate. I had some guy call me Kung Fu Panda. Like I look like a Kung Fu Panda. Like what the shit? And this is your fault, Slapper. This is your fault for all the pizzas you buy me, son. This is your fault, but no, I appreciate it, bro. And that, that comment was legit, by the way. <laughs> I've actually left it there as well. Uh, what if they drink a cappuccino? I said, they don't drink cappuccinos. No, 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 no. They drink lattes in Bondi. Yeah, lattes. Just ask my boy Norman from Sports Show TV or, or Hainsey. Very big latte sippers, yeah. Go the Easters. You're cooked, Blaze. Oh, trust me, I'm cooked. <laughs> I am I'm very cooked, I am whooped. Olivia says Easter Bunnies play on Friday. Yeah, exactly right. Go to the Easter Bunnies. Go to the Easter Bunnies. Braden Craig says, I know it's a different sport, but what do you think about the NFL um, hip drop rule? I think that it's a necessity. Uh, I think that we're obviously going down a path of protecting all different players in all different sports right now, man. Uh, I know that the fans aren't going to like it, and it's going to be a hard one in the NFL as well. Uh, but then again, we thought it was going to be hard in the NRL too. They will clamp down on it very quickly, and you will see a significant amount of flags and penalties thrown for it, uh, which is what we saw in the NRL for it. And it was harsh, and it was crazy, and it really ramp ramped up in the game. But eventually it slows down, because players get used to it and acknowledge that it's not a good tackle, and now we barely see hip drop tackles anymore, when we used to always see them, right? So the NFL will eventually change in that regards. But it will be a very, very uh, sharp learning curve for a lot of teams. Dadman says, back for my grand final celebrations. Yeah, thank you, Daz, mate. Thank you very much, bro. Uh, Slapper says, silly legs aren't important in life. Uh, it's silly. Legs aren't important in life. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> legs aren't important, son. No more. Up in Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, I got called Kung Fu Panda, girl. Dadman says, NFL only hate it because they can't tackle right. They tackle like pussies, just being honest. And maybe in New England. And maybe in New England. Hey, listen, Dads, you might have the dog, dog, wolf, wolf in the game, but at least I got the lions. <laughs> at least I got... Hey, listen, if a bulldog took on a lion in the wild, I'm taking, I'm thinking the lion. I'm putting my house, I'm putting my fourth born, all on the line in that situation. So at least I take that one there. And if it was a real life battle between the Titans and the dogs, Dads, well, guess what? Zing! The Titans win that battle easy, son. So take that. Who's the real winner here? Who's the real winner? Uh, no best sport 2.0. I've got Rabbitohs 13 plus. And that's not me, Ben. And I'll just clarify this for the other Doggies fans. Dad and I are taking the piss out of each other. But um, for Doggies fans out there, like even Dad probably will agree that like the Dogs 
should not win tomorrow. Uh, I, I don't. I think that again, we've seen for the first two weeks for the Titans that they beat the they lost the Dragons twenty eight four, and the Dragons went to lose thirty eight nil to the Dolphins the week after. The Dogs went beat us thirty two nil, and they'll probably go on to lose by a big margin to the Rabbitohs tomorrow, especially with the Rabbitohs being as desperate as they are. I would love the Dogs to win. I really would. I'd love it because that would mean that we will still stay above the Rabbitohs. Uh, and not have to re- uh, rely upon the Dolphins game, but in the same sense, we just as a club need to win on Saturday. So I just don't even care at this point. If we if we were to lose and the Rabbitohs were to win, like we would deserve to be where we are. So it's like that's just how you guys see it as a rugby league fan, you know. Um, but yeah, I would like the, the Bulldogs to do us a favour tomorrow too, though. Take a little bit of pressure off us. Uh, Dasmo says, South should be beating a bottom 14, 13 plus. Thank you. Uh, Richard Rigo says, I wonder if Maverick Guy plays like another like Dad. You would assume so. You would assume so, man. Thomas Tommy Gunn says, Pants between 11 and 20 total, total points. Roosters between 20 and 30 points. Roosters 13. There's a lot of numbers going on here. Luke says, We shouldn't win tomorrow, mainly because Jared Sutton is refing a good Friday game. <laughs> you dog fans really love to rip into that, eh? <laughs> Everything you just said, if dogs win, lol, South. Like, yes, absolutely, best sport. You know, if, if dogs win, you know, South are in a situation just like us. You know, if... Um, the, the positive with us is that it's been two games, right? But with that being said, like there's no excuses and no hiding from those two games, and we also know about the Tino situation. So, um, yeah, super uh, super tough predicament, man. But, yeah, there's no excuses for the Rabbitohs not to be beating the Dogs tomorrow. Uh, it's okay, I clean my room. Thank you for telling me. Uh, so happy the NRLW is expanding. Yeah, that's good news, Olivia. I really love to see the Warriors. I've been manifesting it. Uh, on Watch Her Footy's Instagram page. I keep saying, like, bring back the Warriors, bring back the Warriors, and, and they're back, you know. Good to see, obviously, the Doggies getting in. Um, yeah, good to see the Doggies getting in uh, as well, but uh, really happy for the Warriors to be back in the competition for 2025, and then you probably see in 2027, you'll probably see a team like the Rabbitohs get in and maybe like a Melbourne Storm or something like that. Uh, Pamela Eel says, what a clean shave, Blaze. Yeah, I had to do it, man. Um, really, really tough time to be alive right now for a whole bunch of reasons that I will not get into here. But, you know, at the end of the day, we keep on kicking on, son. We keep on keeping on. And uh, usually, I said this at the beginning of the year, right, in, in a video, like usually when I'm really down and depressed and I'm not feeling great because everything is that's happening over everything, right, I usually just get lazy and don't shave it. But I got to this point here where I was like, you know what? I want to feel, I want to feel fresh. I want to feel, buddy, good again. So I just did it, and I feel better. I feel, oh, I feel fresh is what I'll say. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm not one of those content creators, right, that will hide themselves. Like I don't, I don't hide who I am and, and kind of the the what I'm kind of going through at, on a general level. I won't tell you the situations and whatnot, but you know, a lot of people out there are very fake in regards to what they portray, which then you think that everyone is living a perfect life, which obviously gives you a, you know, sadder version of like, oh, why don't I get this kind of life? And it's like, everyone's got their problems, man. So yeah, um, at the end of the day, man, I just needed to do it just to, to put myself back on the right track. Uh, other Titans fans worry about Tino injury. What do you mean are we worried? Of course we're worried about Tino injury because he won't be back all season. We love Tino. Tino's a great bloke and, and he's a big integral part of the team. I will say that... Uh, I will say that a positive, uh, I hate that word in regards to this situation, but if, like, putting it into perspective, is that now no one has a way to hide behind Tino's stats, and no one has any excuses. They don't get to hide behind how good he is, and that a lot more of the eyes will go on other players, so they have to perform, which is what we saw in that Titans Broncos game last year at Suncorp Stadium. So, it's not a positive at any stage. It is a 0% positive. But if you were to force yourself to look at it in a positive light, if you were forced to do that, that's what I would pick out. I would pick out the fact that, yeah, that's what I would pick out, that no one has a way to hide anymore. Uh, Rosa Thomas said, it's a sign, fresh new plays, fresh new Titans, take us 13 plus. So hopefully, Rosa, hopefully. Uh, Damon says, South should have been one of the first... Um, <clears throat> it should have been one of the first four teams to join the NRLW. The, that club can only win premierships with less teams than a comp. <laughs> I thought you were being nice to the Rabbitohs for a second then, Daz. I thought you were being nice to them for a second. Thomas Tommy Gunn says, Rabbit's going on five this season, that truth. Uh, I disagree, but we'll we'll see tomorrow, bro. We'll obviously be live streaming with you guys. We'll obviously be live streaming here. 
Mull aim. I will read it. Like, I know, Jay, that you remove those comments. Like, I, I do get it. But with that being said, like, sometimes I... I'm just going to be honest with the situation and say, you know, how do you feel about the Titans going on four? They're going on four. They deserve it, man. Like, if they go on four, they deserve it at this point. You know, I can't create excuses for it. There's no excuses that you can create for it. Trust me. I need to find a way to defend them for myself before I defend other people. You know, and I love these boys. Every single one of them. Every single one of these boys I love. You know, despite the fact that there can be situations where they may not make me want to, to love them, Right. Um, but at the end of the day, I still back this team and I still support them on four regardless. I'll be in Townsville next week. I'll be in Canberra the week after. I'll be in New Zealand in a month's time. So it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, you have to be realistic and come to terms with situations as a, as a fan, as a creator, you know, as a creator. You can't do, you can't be a creator, guys, unless you're willing to uh, be wrong, is what I'll say. TRH say, he says, good night, and to receive the hate because of that. Good night, mate. Can the Panthers do... Uh, it without Cleary. I've tipped him. Yeah, I've tipped him to RHA. I've tipped him. Richard Wright says, all right, that's great news. NRL Warriors, 225. Man, I'm wrapped as. Uh, yeah, no, massive news. Massive, 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 massive news. Uh, oh, Daz and Christian are going at it now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe it says you'll be in Goatville next week, eh? All right. Have you been in Townsville, mate? Have you been in Townsville? Uh, make sure it takes some kids scissors to cut the fins off, mate, Olivia. That's exactly what we will be doing, son. Oh boy, mate, I will bore my, I will, I will make you guys aware right now. If we win that game, it won't mean anything to maybe a lot of people, but it will mean so much to me, man, just to win that game by one point. You know, I will lose my mind just feeling the winning feeling again. You know what I'm saying? I will lose my mind. Your father's a pint tonight. Both your fathers. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. I honestly think the Rabbitohs have the worst defense so far. Their match their match against the Chooks are always anticipated. Uh, but Roosters ran all over them. I just don't know what to think. Um, match against the Chooks are always anticipated, but Roosters ran all over them. Yeah, but I, yeah, I think that's because, again, you've got to... Yeah, I think the Rabbitohs are in a... Similar situation to where the Titans are at right now. Very similar in a lot of regards. We've got players out. They've got a couple of players out. They're not in the key positions, but they're still very, very good players in said team. Uh, they've. I think that the difference is the fact that the Titans are confident in their coach long term. The Rabbitohs are not necessarily. Um, there's question marks around the seven, for obviously for both teams. I think both teams are in very similar positions, right? Very similar positions. You saying kick a kid at Dwayne better be in the vlog. He's not going to come anywhere near me, blow, blow, slapper. He's going to be on the side of the stadium. He's not, ah, Jesus, bit my tongue. He's not going to be... It just gets worse. He's not going to come near me on the drums, bro. Do I think the Rabbits will be the Bulldogs? Yes, Bracky. By 13+. plus. Fernie says, Hey, Blaze, you see they have a trophy now for the Queensland Derby? It's on the Titans website. As in, like, this game this weekend. Not that I really care about that. I just want the two points. Um... I just want the vibes. I don't even get two points. I just want the vibes. Gold Coast Titans website. Let's have a look. I just want to feel like... like I want I want to feel like winning again. You know what I'm saying? Like I just want to win. Just to feel it. You know? Titans CEO full of confidence on Saturday's Dolphins Derby. Get around Stevie. Titans join national fight to eradicate fire ants. Spine ready to rewrite season script. That's a tough start. Better be. Has helped launch the Gold Coast Titans Anzac round warm-up tea. You sure? Where? Where's this medal? Where's this medal? I can't see it. Uh, friends by the Fahus. I hope your parents eat these roosters tonight. F and sombrero. Ah, <laughs> uh, San Jenkins is game time, baby. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Well, five minutes until the game does start, so five minutes until the game does start. Um, so guys, obviously hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. And definitely go check out TBC Live. Let's go make a prediction right now. Let's go make a prediction right now on TBC Live. Let's jump on. Uh, Broncos and Cowboys game has a medal. Didn't know you guys did. I don't think we do. I don't think there's a medal between time. Oh, Hampo. The Hampo Cup. That'll be what it is. That'll be what it is. It's probably the Hampo Cup because Liam Hampson played for Dolphins and also um, has a lot to do with the Gold Coast, obviously, as well. So it's probably going to be the Hampo Cup this weekend. That's what we had last year, I believe. Slapper says Nathan Cleary won't play, is my prediction. It's a great prediction, Slapper. That's a fantastic prediction. 
All right. So we'll go here. Predict anything. Um, special predictions are highlighted and have, have longer time limits and, and higher payout cap. Max return. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Fixed time minutes. In the first 10 minutes, we're going to say that Terrell... Oh, wait, no. He's not starting, is he? Or is he starting? Terrell May. Terrell May starting. All right, so Terrell May to run for 40 metres in first 10 minutes. No, no, that's too much. I'll go in first 15 minutes. Terrell May to run for 40 metres in the first 15 minutes. We'll post that with Bad Boy there on TBC Live. We'll do that. Um, and then, we're also going to make a special prediction here on TBC Live. A special prediction. I'll vote yes to that little bad boy. And a special prediction is going to be across... I'm going to give you guys 10 max return. 10. Gee whiz, how good is that? Um, I will say across... I'll do a 60 minute one. And in that 60 minutes, I will say that Brad Schneider... Brad Schneider has two plus try assists before the 60th minute. That's a cool one. Brad Schneider has two plus try assists before the 60th minute. Bang! Post that little bad boy. Slap that up. I'm saying yes. Stop me while you can. You can't do it. You just can't do it. Alrighty, here we go, guys. Here we go. The game is about to get started. The Panthers are about to run out onto the field. Uh, Christian Kessler, okay, Terrell May has slept on. Not going to lie. Guys are gun for it. Yeah, no, he's good, man. I've got him as super coach, and uh, he's a big bopper. He's a big bopper. Leanne Santarosa says, clear he's off for four more weeks. Yeah, he is. I think it's going to be 2014 Panthers win. Well, you see, you think clear he's out, and you've got a 14 plus up. Woo, woo, woo. That's a big one. That is a big one. Fancy football guys with dragons should get medals for that round one premiership. Mate, exactly right, fancy football guy. Where's Oya? I'll give him his medal himself. I'll give him his medal himself. Um, <laughs> Big Papa says, at the moment, I feel sorry for Souths and their fans the most because they were so close to winning in the comp for the last five or six years, and now it looks like the premiership window is now closing. Um, sure. Well, yeah, they, they, they live the hardest life, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let's, yeah. They, the Rabbitohs fans live the hardest life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll give it to you, man. Rabbitohs fans, they live the hardest life of the lot. Uh, Renee O'Donnell says, Rabbitohs win against the Bulldogs 13 plus, I reckon. What about you? Yeah, that's what I've gone with, Renee. That's what I've gone with. I've said Rabbitohs 13 plus on that one. Uh, but that's just because I have seen what's happened to my team, the Titans, in the first week. We got beaten 28-4 by, uh, by the Dragons. And then the week after, obviously, the Dragons thinking they're going to win the comp. They, all their fans were like, oh, here we go, new season, brand new, feeling good. And we're feeling good. And then they felt good as they got beat 38-0. So I just kind of assume the same thing with the, the Titans Bulldogs to the Bulldogs Rabbitohs, if you know what I'm saying. So that's that's what I think in regards to that one. But we'll see tomorrow. I'll be live streaming. I'll be here. I'll be here. I'll go to church in the morning. And we'll get back here. And we'll slap right up for the Rabbitohs versus the Dogs. And then the Broncos versus Galveston tomorrow night. But all righty. Here we go. The Panthers run out of the field. They are running out on the field. Yeah, please don't get the far. Who started Big Bubba? <laughs> good point. Very good point. Cryptic says, I see all 15 Roosters fans showed up tonight. <laughs> so the Panthers are out in the field. Panthers win streaks against opponents. They've got eight wins, eight, eight wins in a row against the Roosters, the Warriors, Manly, and the North Sydney Bears. Wow, back in 90 and 98 to 90. 91 to 98. Wow. Well, that's completely the opposite way around. It had 98 to 91, but I think that meant 91 and 98. Uh, Dan, when's the last time you guys played Finals 40, my G? Hey, we played uh, three, two, three years ago. Hmm. Right, so I hope clear he's out when we play the Panthers at the Wars. No, you don't. You want to beat the best. To be the best, you've got to beat the best. That's what I say. That's what I say when we play him. If we get beaten with Cleary, we get beaten with Cleary. It means we're not good enough. You know, you've got to be the best to be the best. No, that's the opposite way around. You've got to beat the best to be the best. Oh, when I saw right through that one. Dazmate says, Christian, when's the last time you beat a Penrith in a big game? It's a great question. 
That is a great question as well. The Bev in the chat is crazy. Yeah, Bev, slap him, you know? A bit of rock him, sock him. You know, a little bit of rock him, sock him, son. Francois Nafahu says, here we go with the East Lullaby playing. <laughs> oh, dear me. Let's get it. Get ready to rock and roll. Give me your score predictions in the chat. Uh, no, Cleary's, no, Cleary out. Timbuktu, please. So that's the thing, Flurry. I, I personally, if we're going to get pumped by Cleary, it is what it is. You know, I want to beat. I want to beat the good teams. I don't want to be one of these teams anymore. That just, uh, I'll rest in peace to Ian Heads, who we're doing a minute silence for at the stadium right now. But yeah, in my personal opinion, like I, if we're going to get beaten, then and, we, and we, I'd rather get beaten by their full time full team rather than. You know, have excuses from them when we win against a, a second grade team, man. You know, we're gonna start. We're gonna stop as a fan base accepting kind of mediocre, is what I will say. We're gonna stop accepting it, um, and yeah, I'll I'll tell you that. But like at the end of the day, like I I want to see this team do well, and I don't think that. I think we've got to tell the truth. I'm not going to ever call out players or say anything bad, really. But at the end of the day, we're going to expect greatness. We're going to expect a lot better. Dazmo says, Christian, they are slapped in, your, yeah, in the grand final at Madden. Hmm. So I, need, I live near the place with the stuff. Yeah, I saw him there the other day. It was right by that thing over there. Yeah. Uh, for those I meant deported permanent. Ah, fair enough. So you wanted to play for the Warriors or maybe the Kia, the, no, the Christchurch Kias. Hmm. There we're gonna go. There yeah, we're gonna go. Bragg says, "What place the Titans gonna get first? Do you really see, think I don't see through the comments asking me where the Titans are gonna come? Or do you really think you think I haven't come to terms with where our situation is right now, bro? <laughs> like, come on, man." And Sam Jenkins says, "Only reason I'm asking is I got a spare frontline ticket if you want to come Saturday." We do, Slapper. You want to come? We do. We got plenty. We got plenty. As you can probably assume, Slapper. There's a reason why I haven't been able to email you back <laughs> in regards to the shirt. It's a very tough time. Not the time to be talking about uh, those kind of things with the club and getting it organised. But I will sort you out when we get an opportunity. Uh, Ander says, who have you got, brother? I missed the tip stream. I've taken the better Bamfords by a very close margin. But alright, guys. Here we go. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Game starting. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Let's get it. Big game. Pets kick it off here. And the Roosters will start off with it as Dom Young. Forward! Was that a full pass of the first ball? Was that not first pass of the... F yeah, <laughs> Jay, you sneaky dog. It's a trap slap. But you shut up, Jay. Leave me, leave me out. Oh, wait a second. I made him just had a... a, a Jay defending a slapper. Hmm. Hmm. I may have just had an absolute mind explosion. Four tackle now for the Roosters at the 40. They go left hand side. It'll be Terrell May to the 45 here. Fifth tackle. Flows the front line rocks. Yeah, we've got some tickets to give away for the front line this week. So stay tuned to the front line of BK Sport pages tomorrow on Instagram. We're going to be giving away some tickets for the Panthers. We'll grab this ball here to 15. And it will be Dylan Edwards who grabs it and brings it right on back to the 30. Let's see what the Roosters are made of. No, slap a genuine. My niece doesn't want to come anymore and you give a lot to the stream. Well, we've got actual tickets to give away. We've got like 15 tickets to give away tomorrow. So if you've got somebody else, uh, Sammy, definitely hook them up with it. But we've got about 15 tickets to give away to uh, some people who want to get amongst the Titans. And get amongst the team and sit with me and sit with all of us in the front line. So four tackle now with the Panthers at the 45. And it says, uh, Ooh, the Bennett Panthers. Yes. Yes. The Bennett Panthers. So, if it's that one now, let's see Bennett Panthers. The Bennett Panthers. So, the Panthers kick it up. And with a Roosters, Dom Young, who grabs it at the 10. Oh, well done, Brad Schneider made the tackle there. Really good stuff. Alexi Marian says, uh, Panthers by 10. I can see a world, yeah. I can see a world. I've gone Panthers 1 to 12, but I've gone... Yeah, just gone 1 to 12, but 10 points is definitely fair. I personally would lean towards the 4 to 6 marker, but I'm going to also lean towards the penalty roosters for offside. I'll probably be drunk, to be honest. Thank you, though. Same here, mate. <laughs> I, I feel like this season's going to turn me into an alcoholic. 
<laughs> Sam, I hope you're ready, mate. This season's going to turn us into something that we never thought we'd be. Oh, man. So right-hand side, number of the Roosters, and Sam Walker gives off here to Terrell May. He's making some good meters here early days. He's still going here. He's still going. Now he's at the 40 to 38. Good run. Well, it was a walk, but there you go. Oh, Sunday is sold out again for the Warriors. I'm telling you, the Warriors are starting to pull numbers. New Zealand, the NRL needs to capitalize now. Go into Christchurch now. Fun fact for you, the Warriors got more of a crowd in round one than the, the Crusaders did, and that was when it was not looking like an awful season, and the Crusaders are coming with four wins in a row, whatever. So let's go take it down to the 28. Fit tackle. Just to take that risk. What's Slapper do? What's he risking? Oh, good kick there. Oh, the river. Can he get out, though? Oh, they've got the ball. Dylan Edwards, that was risky. Torova, Torova, what are you doing? What was, geez, it worked out well for the Panthers, but passing the ball in the in goal is always a very, very dangerous play, but it worked out. Great kick from the Roosters, though. This is looking like it's going to be a brilliant game. Looking like a brilliant game. So Terrell May, right-hand side. Hey, Sam, are you looking forward to uh, doing the, the bungee jump in New Zealand? You looking forward to it, sir? So, fit tackle now for the Panthers. I'll get this pulled at the 45. I go left hand side, Jerome Luai. And Luai is going to put that ball up into the corner where it'll be James Tedesco who grabs this at the 14. And they'll get taken down now at the 22. If you jinx it, I blame you. What have I jinxed? What have I done? What have I done now? What have I done now? Oh, Dom Young crunched by Liam Martin, Isaac Dungo, and Moses Leota. Where do you get your drum from? Uh, Tuvalu, mate. Tuvalu. Dasmo says, I never thought I'd see the day where the Crusaders were, are 0 5. Yeah, crazy, bro. Crazy. As a Drew fan, we beat him, so <laughs> I love it. Why on earth was that a thing? Oh, jeez. Brian Tottle. He fumbled, but he grabs the ball and takes it to the 30. That was a weird decision there from the Roosters. So Mitchell with the 15th dollar donation. Appreciate your brother. Says Taruva, Taruva. Must have watched Junior Tupo highlights. <laughs> Junior Tupo highlights. Oh, jeez. Good work there by uh, Joseph Suwali. But Taruva's still strong with the legs and gets past the 45. Uh, but appreciate you for the donor, Mitchell. All right, so they'll get this ball in the attacking half. Uh, only here to cause issues, I promise. Richard's only here to cause issues. Well, Richard and Riker. Richard and Riker's great, dude. What are you talking about? Richard and Riker's just a Warriors fan getting around. He's, he doesn't cause issues ever. Oh, Dom Young left a bounce. And it will be... Desco who drops it. He'll go in goal here. He'll go in... Oh, well done. Well, kind of well done, but not well done. He did get out of the end goal. <laughs> well, why are you having to go at Richard and Riker? He's done nothing wrong. He's never done anything wrong. Yeah, bro, the fact that I'll be in New Zealand to watch the Titans game versus the Warriors. I have to now. Slapper has already paid me for do, to do the, um, the what's it called? The Sky Tower uh, bungee jump. That's a knock on Roosters at the 11. Wow, here we go, Panthers. Here's a chance. Here is a chance here. Penrith Panthers. Tubo knows he's dropped it. And they've forced the error right now. Here we go. Do they score here? Les says, morning all can't, be, can't beat a bit of East League. Exactly right. Cannot be a bit of Easter League. Tomorrow's going to be a big day, man. Church in the morning. Rabbitohs, Bulldogs, and the Broncos, Cowboys. How good. That's your fullback now. Well, it wasn't actually Tedesco's fault, really. It was Dom Young for letting it drop at the back, but then Tedesco did make that error at the back. And Oh, sorry, you're talking about Tupai, yeah? No, you're talking about Tedesco. Don't, just forget me, all right? Didn't realize he support the Warriors. Let's go, champ. Uh, Alexi, why did you just have a crack at Richard for no reason? <laughs> like, he didn't do anything wrong. He's never done anything wrong. <laughs> he just randomly said, you know what? I'm going to have a crack at some random dude today. <laughs> like, so the Panthers now, 12 meters out of the line. <laughs> Mitch Kenny, out of the left here to Lindsey Smith. That's right, Fisher Harris not playing today. So Lindsay Smith now five metres out of the line. Mitch Kenny. He'll go to right inside of Brad Schneider. Schneider out the back here to Liam Martin. Liam Martin! Six again into the Panthers. He'll be eight metres out of the line. They're Cuzzy Bros now. That's why I found it so weird. So first tackle here. Five metres out. Mitch Kenny. 
Right hand side was Ayo. Is Ayo off to Moses Leota? Four metres out here from the line, second tackle. Mitch Kenny will go left off to Brad Schneider. Schneider off to Luai. Luai underneath here to Brian Toto. And Toto, six again here for the Panthers. Five metres out. Wow, we Roosters. You're going to tie yourselves out. They go right hand side, Mitch Kenny off to Schneider. Schneider here to Lindsay Smith. And Lindsay Smith here. He'll be nine metres out of the line. Trial mate trying to get a strip. Can't do it though. Second tackle. They'll go right hand side off to his eye. Yo, yo at the back of the Schneider. Schneider himself. Oh, five minutes out of the line. Third tackle. That is Brad Schneider, Anders. It is Isaiah. He's going to be uh, three metres out of the line. It'll be four tackle. And at the back, Brad Schneider. Schneider hit a Luai. Luai over the top. Intercept by Dom Young. Dom Young at the 15. Oh, I think that's 20. Well done, Dom Young, son. Well done. Uh, do you go to many NBA games? Yeah, every day. Yeah, I'm at the Chicago Bulls United Center every day, Renee. Every day. The fact I think I think I might see you at the game. You'll hear me. Hopefully. Hopefully. Fatima says this game has the potential to be the game of the round and also has the potential to be a shitter. I agree. I definitely agree with that. Yeah, he's too tall, slab, but exactly right. What is he? How tall actually is he? Like six eight, six seven? Because I'm 6'3", and he's definitely much taller than me, isn't he? Like, Tino's 6'5", he's a little bit taller than me, but... How tall's Dom Young? And it's going to be Sona Torova, Torova! Take him down here at the 30. And they go left-hand side now to Isaac Tango. Tango at the 40, second tackle. 10 minutes gone here, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Get around TVC Live as well in the pin. Come in the chat. Completely free out to play... During the game, actually, I should go make sure and see if uh, Spencer, not Spencer Lenny, uh, Terrell May has run for the amount of meters that I said he would. Six again with the Panthers. Roosters, man, just keep giving opportunities. Opportunities galore. Edwards now, he's going to be 30 meters out of the line. First tackle. Roosters, stop giving away six again. So Terrell May. He has run for 31 metres in 10 minutes. He was so close. So close. I'm 6'2", 6'3", Mitchell, to be fair. <laughs> I've got to stop talking shit about the Titans. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to be uh, 10 metres out here from the line. they go right-hand side. Brad Schneider, Schneider now. So Lindsay Smith, it's 5 metres out for tackle. They go left-hand to Schneider. Schneider at the back here, Luai. Luai steps. Steps again. He's still going. Oh, five minutes out of the line. Fit tackle. Dominant's only 6'4". Oh, I thought he was a bit taller than that. I thought he was like Tino or above. Up it goes here for Tango. It's knocked back. Panthers. Edwards. He should have got himself. But Torova. 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 man. Trot time for Torova. Torova. Shrots on. Shrots on for Torova. Edwards should have gone himself. What's 201 centimetres? I'm 6'4 and had a chat with John at the pub and he towers over me. That's what I was going to say. I think he's much taller than that. He muffins. I'll go and have a look at it. Dom Young height. Uh, exactly 2 metres. 2 metres in feet. He is 6'5, six, 6'6. Six, six. He's close enough to 6'6. Six, six. He's 6566. Uh, Strange Tutor says, to, uh, to, I'll try the opposite wing of man. It's <laughs> Little Slap has just been slapped by Alexi. Alexi goes, Everyone slap like as if you're slapping slappers bold scope. <laughs> well, why, why are you just like going to slap it now? <laughs> what is, what is, what's happening here? It's over. Roosters look shit slapper says, are they under-delivering on the over expectations? Are they doing it? Are they doing it? Could it be happening? But that was nice work there by uh, Tango to knock it back to Edwards. But Edwards honestly could have gone himself, man. He honestly could have gone himself. But Tango has been the best center in the game this year for sure. It's like, cry. It, it's just always the case, man. The Panthers just have that guy that comes through. 
you know, they lose Crichton. Well, guess what? Tungo turns into a massive weapon. Edwards taking the kick here and will get the kick off the post and in. 6 0. Well done. 6 0. Well done. We may, have, we may have found an NRL L, another El Masri. Dear me. Oh, I just realized for a video, I'm going to screenshot the ladder one sec. Concerns for Liam Martin in the right arm, right shoulder. Ooh, that's not good, Panthers. That's not good. All right, that's done. Team stats, player stats, bang. There we go. So, 16 of the Panthers, 12 minutes in, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Schneider not kicking? No, Schneider not kicking. Dylan Edwards, and he got a good kick and hit it over the post from the sideline. Richard Rogers is fancy that. 6'6 six, six of a rocket flying. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. And he's got some great speed on him. We saw that in uh, in Newcastle last year when he took on the Raiders in that uh, that elimination final week one. That was such a great try to uh, to watch. Such a great try. But as I yo now, who gets ball to the 40? Get this for, ball to the 40. You would have probably expected... Like, does Schneider usually kick? I don't know. Are you just assuming that because he's a 7 that he can kick? I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Jerome Lua here. It's on fit tackle. They're going to go. Taylor May kicks his ball back in. And here we... Oh, that's the post. Jeez, everything's going Penrith's way right now, man. Like, the luck of the bounce is just going Penrith's way. It's just going Penrith's way. Second tackle now. The 8. Kiri goes right inside. I will say, Sanders Smith probably didn't deserve to get dropped after last week. Well, pushed to the bench after last week. From memory, he kicked all right at the Raiders. Did he ever really get some solid starts at the Raiders? I know he would be in and out due to injury, but... Did he ever... Like, actually get a, a consistent stint? Like, there was Georgie Williams, there was... Jamal Fogarty, obviously. I don't, can't, I don't know if he actually got a good stint there. Dane Laurie would slap that palm. <laughs> Dane Laurie. That's right, Dane Laurie's playing here, though. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, man. Such a weird sign here, isn't it? Second tag went out at the 45. They go left-hand side to Isaac Tongo. We third tackle. Now there's the old Marky guy. Looking forward to seeing Maverick guy get in the field. And now the Panthers will be at the 30. Oh, I just realised my prediction in regards to uh, Terrell May was in 15 minutes. He probably has right now, and I've already voted no to it. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, he's only run for 31. There's only a minute left of it, so lucky I did that. Luai on fit tackle. Luai on fit tackle. Luai over the top. Oh, what are you doing? Manu, Trova. He gets it back here to Edwards at the 10. Edwards steps around. He kicks it through. Edwards! <laughs> That's unreal. How have they scored that? How have they managed that? Dylan Edwards take a bow. That is crazy. Luai. Wow, Panthers. Wow, wow, wow. That was wild. Luai steps one, steps two, steps three, steps four. Gets the ball over the top there. Uh, is that Suwali'i bad defense? Uh, Torova runs it down the wing. He'll cut that ball back in. He gets it off to Dylan Edwards. And then Edwards kicks it down. And then Edwards just gets it himself. Wow, we. That's a great try there by Dylan Edwards. But uh, Roosters, you got to stop watching Luai. you got to start tackling him, son. Stop watching, start tackling. Static says, where do you reckon they even use Dane? I just guess you can use him anywhere in the spine except for the nine, really. That is such a try there by the Panthers, man. Under delivering over expectations. Christian cares as Roosters really thought they did something like the beating a terrible rabbit team last week. I did try to say this, but with that being said, it's only been 16 minutes here. There's a long way to go. Luai getting carried by Edwards now. <laughs> Mitchell says, I'm surprised the Panthers celebrate that try. They don't usually celebrate when he does something. <laughs> oh, that's all on Suwali'i, bro. Like, coming in like that was just wild. 
Like, I guess they did defend it under the, the wing there, but it still ended up as a try. And that Edwards... Like, the way Edwards did that, like, to kick that, run around, and then to score it. So, Edwards, if he gets this kick, will have scored eight of the points today. Eight of the 12 points. And Dylan Edwards will get this kick. Edwards knows how to kick, man. So it's 12 nil here to the Panthers with 23 minutes to go in the first half. If I were Dane, I, Diane. Princess Diane's kicking about, is she, Anders? If I were Diane, saying what Edwards just did, I'd be thinking, oh, what am I doing here? I'd probably be thinking, what's Princess Diane doing here as well? Yeah. But yeah, this is, uh, this is not good here from the Roosters. Not good at all. Off to you, and you go, blood. Oh, so... I know you're t- taking the piss. It's so cringe when, like, Aussie kids and Aussie teenagers say the word blood. It's like... <laughs> they go with a short kick already. And the Roosters will actually get it. They will get the short kick off. They will get the short kick... Oh, he's lost the ball. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Roosters, they've lost the ball. Oh no, it's going to be one of those games, Chooks fans. It's going to be one of those games. Good luck, good luck. No, Sam. The answer is no. Sam, the answer is no. Slapper, the answer is also no. (laughs) So, 59% possession of the Panthers so far, 41% of the Roosters, but then again... (laughs) There's a reason for that. It's because they've been making mistakes and giving away six against. So right inside, Isaac Dungo gets his ball to the halfway point. First tackle. So they're at the halfway point. Right hand side. Too soon, Sam. Too soon. <laughs> Second tackle here at the 45. Mitch Kenny. Goes left hand side of Moses Leota. And Leota. Crunching run to the 40. Third tackle. Good run, Mitch Kenny. Honestly, should be six again. Didn't call it, but it should have been. They go right hand side off to Leota. Leota, he'll be inside the attack in 20 now. Fifth tackle here for the, the Panthers. Jeez. They've just been non stop here, the Panthers. Schneider puts that ball up. And great tackle, but the Roosters get it to two. But great tackle by Luke Garner to wait for him to come down. And the Roosters are in all sorts right now, man. Look at this. Oh, they're lucky the penalty comes. They're lucky. It's offside, but like they're lucky that penalty comes because. Roosters are in all sorts, son. <laughs> Thank you, Elliot Graham, if you are watching this right now. I'm just seeing your Instagram message. Thank you for reminding me. Muppet. <laughs> Alright, so right hand side, the Roosters in Suwali. Tackling opposition half. 25 times the Panthers, 6 times the Roosters. Alright, so right hand side, a victim Radley. And Radley now at the halfway point. 10 from 11 completions for the Panthers. 6 from 8 for the Roosters. They go left hand side here. And it'll be another knock on Roosters. And Edwards here. He picks it up. He'll get to the 40. To the 45. Another knock on for the Roosters today. What happened to Wong? I don't know. I don't know why they dropped him. I don't think he was bad. I don't know why they dropped him. So Panthers now. It's going to be Brian To'o. And Brian To'o gets this ball here at the 38. Uh, give it off here to Isaiah Yo, And Isaiah Yo now, he'll get this ball 25 minutes out here from the line, third tackle. 20 minutes to go here in the first half. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Moses Leota, he'll be 13 minutes out from the line. Fourth tackle now to the Panthers. If they score here, gee whiz, Roosters. Brad Schneider back on the inside here. Panthers taking down to the 10, fifth tackle. Mitch Kenny gives it back off to Schneider. Five minutes out, play it out. Drop out coming up from the Roosters. Dropout coming up here from the Roosters. Wow, we. Dear me. Like, Schneider has had a great game tonight, mind you. Just want to throw that out there. He's had a great... Yeah, he has been, Toby Stevens. He's been great. So, Kiri's about to do a dropout here. And it's like, I don't think the Roosters... I don't think many teams could do much in this situation. You know, like they can go for the short kickoffs all they like and all that type of stuff, and they're going to get it, which is great. But, like, with that being said, the Panthers are still going to keep you inside your own 30 here. And this is the issue, right? This is the issue. The Panthers do know how to just lock you down and keep you down here. 
And you're not really going to benefit from it besides the fact that you're not going to concede the six points right now. You know, this Panthers team just is... It's, it's insufferable to watch as an opposition fan because they just don't give you any break. And this is nutted multiple times already. This game is a disgrace. Like, so this is Tedesco taking down to the 35 for tackle. Roos under the pump. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Four tackle. Oh, if Nafahu White just passes it out to his centre, who's playing out the left, he would have been away. So I think he was just scared about like a like a forward pass or something. I don't know. Or an intercept. So Dylan Edwards now. He'll bring this ball back out here to the 25. So the Roosters struggled to get out of their own 45-40 there. The Panthers were absolutely guaranteed get inside the attack and half here. Bang, pan... Oh, penalty the Roosters! Did not stand in the line. Wow, big goal. Big goal. Roosters now will get their first real attack opportunity in the game. Obstructing defender. Wow, you don't see that much. That called much. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's milked, but it's the right call. It's milked, but it's the right call. So, Brandon Smith is off to the Warrior Hargraves, who's 22 metres out from the line. Hercules says, let's go, Panamas. Never thought I'd see Matty Eisenhuth in an NRL game again. Matty's he's here. This will be the first time they've touched the attack in 20, all game the Roosters. As Earth grade halfback, look at this good speaks volumes of Panamas brilliance. Oof. <laughs> oof. You guys know why I'm going oof. Third tackle now, 15 metres out. Third tackle. Brandon Smith off to Kiri. Kiri to uh, Tedesco. Tedesco will take him down to the 18. Roosters' attack is looking quite slow right now. It's a penalty in the, pan the Roosters here. I will say, I disagree with that call, but I will say this game seems like they're trying to adjust it so that it can be... Let's have a look here again. Oh, it's like, okay, I get it, but no... Okay, I get it, but no. Seven and a half minutes to go here first half. And now Nat Butcher, he'll take this ball down to 10. If Roosters score here, it's still game on, man. Left hand side to Kiri. Kiri off to Terrell May. And Terrell May taking down nine Mays out here from the line. Hmm. Radley at the back now. Gives up to Tedesco. Tedesco here. Joe Manu! Joe Manu! Joe Manu brings him back in. Joe Manu brings him back into the game. And the Roosters, the Chugga Chugga Chooksters, go bang, try time. This is going to be a good game, folks. Penrith have been just insufferable, but now the Roosters finally get a bit of ball and they just find a way to score. Rally to Walker, Walker to Tedesco. Tedesco to Manu. And give the ball to Manu and Manu will score. So bing bong. <laughs> All four Chook fans will love that one. Deary me. Deary me. So 16 and a half to go here in the first half. And that's just momentum. There's no way it's ever going to be called no try. Unless they say knock on, but I think it's fine. I think it's definitely fine there. 16 to go. Joe Mar Actually, I just realised that I haven't checked... Did I even fix my Supercoach team this week? Let's go have a look. Did I fix my Supercoach team? Game on, boys. Game on, boys. Game on, boys. So who have I got playing today's game? I know I have Terrell Mays on 25. I'll take that. Break him 24 as well, so I'll definitely take that. He's looking at like a 50, 60. He's looking at like a 70 score right now, the old Terrell May. Um... That's all I have. I don't have anybody else. Oh, they are going to look at this knock-on. They are going to potentially look at the knock-on. Uh, Jason, can I take one day's annual leave on Saturday? No. Oh, wait. Infield interference. Oh, they go. Oh, he's got in the way of Edwards. Oh, he's not going to get there, but it's the right call. But he's not going to get there. Roosters fans are going to hate it, but he's not going to get there, but it's the right call. He's not going to get there, but it's the right call. But it's 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 a harsh one for Roosters fans to accept. 
So no try here. Penalty to the Panthers. He's not going to get there, but it's 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 technically the right call. But he's not going to get there. All right, so it will be a penalty here to the Panthers. Cryptic says, in consistence with how the last two weeks have been, glad to see them being consistent with it. I agree. I agree, Cryptic. I agree. Do you want someone to check on Gus? Well, I'm not listening to Gus. I'm obviously, I'm on KO, so... I'm not too sure what the old Channel 9 saying, but... I, I just don't know what Warrior Hargraves did really too wrong there. Like, he's at the try line, which is 10 metres in front of the play, and it's like... Well, if you stop in the line, then it's a penalty. If you stop in front of the fullback, it's a penalty. Well, then, as a fullback, I'm going to try and gauge where that play will come. Like, as a fullback, I will internally think, okay, this lead runner, I'm going to run at a perfect time that I run straight into him. That'll be his fault. That's a penalty. And then if they score a try, it's a no try. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's something that the players will start to figure out. They'll start to figure out trajectories of the, the lead runners to deliberately run straight into them and make it less obvious. You know, it's just... It's consistent, but it's like, wow, we. If you stop, it's a penalty. Uh, yeah, but in the same, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can make, as a fullback, you could wait, or they go up, knock back by Tyler May. It can be done deliberately as well, is what I'm saying. You can figure out a way for it. Luai kicks it behind for Brian Toto. Oh, drop out. Drop out coming up. Seb Watson says, what's a load of bullshit? It's unfortunately not, though. Like, it's unfortunately not. Hesapau says, go there, pa -pa 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 Panthers. I don't know what Paga Panthers is, so I changed it. Roosters didn't stuff enough brown paper bags in the bunker. They gave too much money to the ref. Fair enough. Christian gets another to try every day of the week. It's embarrassing the game. Like, I agree, but technically speaking, it is a penalty. Technically speaking, and it has been consistent this year with that. All right, that big dropout. Dom Young knocks it back, and the Roosters will get another short dropout. They will get it back again. So that was a trick back to zero. What did I miss? You missed a obstruction. So it was a no try. No try. Don't bother me, son. No try. Don't bother me. Ian says, to be fair to Dylan, he didn't appeal for it. I don't know what Dylan's got to do with it in regards to whether he appealed for it or not. So four tackled here for the Roosters. They're 30 metres out here on their own line. I'm waiting for Brendan to come in. Oh, don't... Olivia, that's a he who shall not be named. You know, like, you've just gone and said Brandon Wesling. He is who shall not be named. Because as soon as you say his name, he will appear. And he will complain about the referees. Olivia, you should know this by now. You should know this by now. No run! First half, we have the Panthers at the 30. Just saying that because I saw Jay's comment. No run. Hurry up and bring the Ashes back. That's what I say. Those Ashes streams are going to be massive, man. Cyber says, Chooks back to zero. That's right, I read that comment. Seven says, yeah, but now we're selling flops on the line. People running into people to make interference. I know, but they've been consistent with it. But I know we're saying, oh, oh no, gone. I called hell, but back in the day, yeah, parents are getting calls. Back in the day, I definitely remember that being called as a knock on. I've noticed Justin is never in here for the Chooks games. No, he is, but he'll come later. Watch. As I say to Anders, he'll come back here with like 20 minutes to go. Oh, good hit. Good hit there by Terrell May. Not Terrell May. Taylor May on Dom Young. I want to see a hit from Taylor May on Terrell May or Terrell May on Taylor May. Well, how is it not penalty against the Roosters there for being an obstruction? Because Tedesco stopped in the way just then. As in to say, he wasn't actively running into him and crying. Uh... He, if he knew that was he, he was getting... It was given, though, by just running to him. It's very clever. Yeah, I know what he's saying. That's what I was saying. Oh, Root Panthers here. Where's all your defense? Joseph Sewell Lee. <laughs> it's like Tango just like... Starfish on top of him. Terrell May is going to be a problem in the future. Sheesh. Yeah, Terrell May is good, man. There's no way anyone here has Supercoach and doesn't have Terrell May in from, like, the beginning part of the season. Like, he is a absolute beast, son. Panthers, oh, lucky Dom Young got him because otherwise they're away down the left through Tanner May. And they're still going here. Luai gets around Dom Young. Jeez, sending at the halfway point. Well done. 
He's on 33 right now, Terrell May. He is going to go up some money this week. With 12 minutes to go to the first half, his break-in was 25. He's already on 33. Um, and there's still 12 minutes to go. Full tackle. Full tackle. I've just realized I'm so low on the screen. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's lost the ball backwards. It's fine. Mitch Kenny has the ball at 30. Oh, they're saying knock on Panthers. I challenge this. Would you not challenge this? It's gone backwards unless there's something that's happened that we haven't seen. Recent says the rest have been pretty poor so far, but Panthers deserve to be winning by this margin. Agree. Agree. Bum, 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 bum. So they're not showing us this knock on. Do you see on Clarkie's general news post that Torova is testing the market? Which team you reckon needs him the most? Ooh, maybe Eels? Eels, uh, obviously the Tigers. Um, Newcastle, for sure, need someone like that. I don't think he'd go there, though. I don't know, but like Eels, Newcastle. He don't want to. Does he want to be fullback, Mary? Yeah, Holbrook is the attacking coach of the Roosters. Christian Care, knock on Roosters. So that's a going to be a knock on to Jugga Jugsters. The Panthers get a ball here at the 30. No, sorry, the 40 on the Roosters side of the field. 10 minutes to go the first half, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. Let's go make a prediction here on TBC Live. Let's go make a prediction. I'm going to make the prediction that Panthers lead. Panthers... Lead 18 0 at half time. Ooh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Panthers lead 18 0 at half time. Bang. Now it's cracking on. TBC Live Pen, come in the chat. My captain didn't change on Supercoach. Come on, Teddy. Oh, poor you, bro. Poor you. You are in an unlucky situation. Keep it second. He says, Why is it nice to win? You should be watching my tipping stream on Tuesday, bro. It's there. It's up. You can watch it right now. And there is timestamps for you, my friend. Third tackle here for the Panthers. So 35 minutes out. Somehow Roosters will get him. <laughs> well, still leads off, I guess. So Panthers here. Lindsay Smith, fourth tackle, 10 minutes out. Fourth tackle, 10 minutes out. Mitch Kenny gives it off into Zai Yo. And Zai Yo taking it down five minutes out. Fifth tackle. Here we go. Here comes a try. Mitch Kenny off to Brad Schneider. Schneider puts that ball up in the air here for Taylor May. Picked up by the Roosters. and they'll... Oh, penalty. Sam Walker. Escort. Panthers penalty. Take the two. I take the two. Take the two, Panthers. Brennan Eslick says, Nui picked up two Panther players over the offseason. Why would Darulva not want to go? Uh, because have you seen the... Have you seen the Knights respectfully? Have you seen the Knights respectfully? I know you have, Brent. Uh, Nuthi says, Panthers defense clearly offside on the scrum. Well, it's about to be a two-pointer here with the Panthers. <laughs> Walker better not. Hey, easy. Hey, listen, Anders. Get, uh, listen, I know what my team's doing, man. Your team's doing better than my team, that's for sure. Cyber says, but apparently I'm not allowed to criticize my team. Walker better never touch a Queensland jersey. Uh, <laughs> Lag and Bullswick says both Roosters centers are off next year. Uh, yeah, they are. Yes, yeah, Elite and Joe Mine. I guess the Roosters are a shout for sure. Three games in, bro. We won 10 in a row at the end of last. Yeah, that's great, but in the same sense, like, that doesn't mean Jack. Like, you know, with all due respect, the Titans won, like, six games to end the, the 2022 2021 season and then didn't win for, like, weeks and weeks and weeks and, and had an awful year. I think people really overestimate and overrate like those kind of runs. And it's like, that's why I still predicted the Knights to come about 12th this year, despite that. And people are like, oh, no way. Look at what they did last year. And it's like, well, respectfully, from a non-fan of the Knights, I see them coming around that bottom four this year. And before anyone goes, oh, but you're a Titans fan, I'm aware of my situation. I am aware as well. No, Renee, no. For feeders, leave them for the Panthers. Dave's leave them for the Panthers. He's leaving for the Panthers. <laughs> of course he's staying with the Gold Coast, man. I've had to argue this a million times. So I won't even respond to it anymore, really. 
Uh, Anna says, didn't mean it that way, man. As a nice fan, what we've been through, I would never talk down to anybody's team. Well, it's like, you know, I cop a lot of flack and criticism for the way that I talk about teams. And it's like, well, what do people want me to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you want me to talk about things? Like, you know, people are happy to hear the criticism of other teams, but when it comes to their team, they're like, oh, no, you're being rude, and you're a Titans fan, so, you know, you're a dickhead. And it's like, oh, what do people want me to do? You know, <laughs> like, it's very easy for people who sit back at home and have their opinions, you know, because they don't have to put their face out there and to, to represent and to, to put it out there, yeah. But, like, with me, like, I have to sit here with you guys and give my opinions. So... Of course, I'm going to have to insult a team or two every now and then, or every game. You know, like it is what it is. A bit of fun, a bit of banter, and whatnot. But um, as a Titans fan, I'm very realistic of kind of situations. It's just that I'm going to back my team in still, but I mean, I don't know what our team can do. So Edwards now fit tackle at the halfway point. Uh, Nathy says the scourge of rugby league. It's what I'm looking for this week, coming from the referees. <laughs> So the Roosters, Dom Young, grabs this ball 15 metres out. Is the Titans in a roll? W10 goods? Kibasaki! Champion! Champion, we were in the grand final last year. You see, Titans women's team is... Mwah! Don't listen to the Knights fans. They talk too much. The Titans women's team is the best in the business, baby. Oh, well, how about this one, Knights? You might win on the day of the grand final in the NRLW, but we've got the more attractive team. Who's the real winner? Who's the real winner? We're not going to level. Sam's our cop it, can't really say it in a way without. What? Oh, I'm so sick of people spelling it for Fita. It's my new storms. Oh, Sam, you going to learn today, baby. You're going to learn today, baby. You're going to learn today. Damn, we'll be seeing you in five minutes, sir. You just spelt it incorrectly. You just spelt it. Listen, we got one rule for you as we do the moderators. Moderators, subscribers, all the same rule. You read me. But I agree with you as well. Like, I do agree with you. <laughs> Mitchell with the $15 donation. Appreciate brothers. Just don't think we've insulted Ravidos enough yet. <laughs> Thank you very much for the $15 donation. We have insulted Ravidos now. Uh, Brendan Neslick says the centre for the Titans NRL W team is a, um, a beast. Is it Chapman? Yeah, Jamie Chapo. She's a, unbelievable. Oh, oh, oh Rattle has slapped him. Phil, four take a look at the pants in the 45. Uh, yeah, Jamie Chapo. She's unbelievable, man. She's unbelievable. She's the best centre in the game. I'll say that right now. She's the best centre in the game. You know, she scored a, a couple tries in the uh, Indigenous versus Māori All-Stars. Tongo kicks the ball over the top here. Where's the ball going to bounce? Oh, Tupo grabs at the 15. You know, she scored a couple of tries in the Indigenous vs. Moldy game. Scored a hat-trick in the grand final. Scored a hat-trick a couple of weeks before that against the Eels. You know, she's unbelievable. Yeah, the old Chapo. The old El Chapo, as Clarky likes to call her. El Chapo. Basketball says Phil Gould is glazing the pants so hard right now. Of course he is. With that being said, bro, it's unfortunate, but it's technically true in regards to the no try. It's unfortunate for you, but it's been consistent throughout the season and it is technically the right call. But I understand why Roosters fans are annoyed and, and pissed off about it. Um, yeah. Roosters here. Tedesco taking it up to 30. Pants defense has been pretty solid, though. Bits of lads, I'm scared shitless for tomorrow. You're playing right now. You're playing right now, though. Why tomorrow? You can't tell me Everett's didn't milk that, Baldy. <laughs> Baldy. <laughs> Like, okay, but with that being said, it's still, unfortunately, it's still, unfortunately, is the correct call. But I don't believe it should be, but if you bring in opinion, it creates a whole world of issues. I'm a Broncos fan. You know, it's Bizza. We're watching Brian Toto Bizza in the game right now. I decided was I Yo. Is I Yo off here too? Oh, they've had 400 more majors too, uh, Jesse. Oh, it's a Tango. He's 10 majors out of the line for tackle. And it says, you pay $20 a month to avoid Gus, but you get a block on return. No, I'll take Gus every day of the week. I'll pay 100 bucks to listen to Gus on, on Fox rather than... Oh, Panthers... Oh, no. Oh! I <laughs> get that into your face, son! <laughs> I has just been sent back 
two. Yes, yeah, you saw. You can actually see Manu lining him up too. Bushka! <laughs> Bushka! Oh, man. Catch you tomorrow, Jerome Luai. <laughs> That's too good. That's too good. Get clunked, you muppet, Pizza Lad says. Damn says, Gus is cheating on us with his ex muppet. <laughs> oh, I get you. Now, this is how many times has have the bout the bought and paid for adjudicators unduly influenced games? Uh, well, can they unduly influence Titans games, please? Penalty to the Roosters. Just suck the fattest Willie Mason, Luai. Oh, my goodness me. So, penalty to the Roosters here. A minute and a half to go. Here you go with the field goal, Chuggies. 14 nil. Egan Butcher, he's 13 metres out. Tackle him up just 20. 19 times for the Panthers, just three times for the Roosters. Hospital pass and a half. Oh, yeah, it wasn't Luai's fault, but you saw Manu lining him up the whole time. Kiri, Kiri off to Suali. Suali taking down 10 metres after the line, third tackle. If the Roosters score here, they're well in this game despite the score. Despite being down, they'd be well in this game if they're only down by eight. They'd be happy with only an eight-point deficit considering their first half. Tedesco, Joey Manu! Joey Manu's still going here! Oh, he's going to get crunched himself with the 10 4 tackle. 46 seconds to go here. They go left hand side, Connor Watson. Connor Watson. They left hand side, Radley. Radley and Walker. Walker kicks it through! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is close. I don't know. They're going to call it, but we're going to have to have a look at this. This is amazing if he gets it. So let's have a look here if the Roosters have just scored this right on half time. This would be amazing if they find a way here. Amazing if he does. Kicks it through here. Kicks it through. Yeah, I think he does. I think he gets it. I think he gets it, man. That's good work there from Sam Walker. Great kick. And... Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, I think he gets that down. I think he does. Here we go. This will show it. Oh, he's lost it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe he might have lost this. Does his left hand stay on it, though? This is close. Panthers fans will claim he's knocked this on. Try confirmed. Okay, this will show us, Maybe. Um, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That absolutely looks like a no try. It's like at full speed that looks like a try, but I don't know how that's been try confirmed. He definitely lost that. He's definitely lost that. Am I crazy? Now he says, Bro, Titans are not a low socioeconomic, low demographic region that doesn't make business sense. I've done, you've got too many words there for me to cl understand right now. Uh, but talk to me tomorrow and I'll, I'll understand that a lot more. Uh, I guess it. Good work. 46, but I disagree with the try. I just, that's definitely no try for me. <laughs> that's, yeah, he definitely lost that Christian Cow. I agree. I feel like that wouldn't be a try a few years ago. Ever since the new interpretation, they've let some questionable ball control go. But, the, but I thought he clearly bounced that. That's wild. I'm just going to message Best Sport. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to message, uh, I'm going to message Best Sport. You know when you're like going through Instagram and you go to like click on something and then you accidentally click on someone's like li random live stream? Like, or message, whatever. It's like, come on, man. I just, uh... <laughs> I just want to do what I'm doing. I like, you just... I, I can't show you, but you're, like, scrolling through, and then you've got to click on, like, a message, but then it opens up whoever's just messaged you or a notification or something. Really annoying. Anyway, um... That was simply not a try. <laughs> that is wild. 
There you go. But anyway, half time here, guys. 14 6, very controversially. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. Uh, look, Tron Foxtel. Definitely not. I'm looking at it. Definitely looked like a bounce to me. Definitely looked like a bounce to me. Here we go. And. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't think so. I just don't think so. He's definitely lost that, man. Absolutely lost that. I've just watched that again. That is, I want to see what the... I want to see what people are saying. <laughs> Jesse. I want to go and look at this. NRL. I want to go see what people are saying at the halftime score. Or maybe, I'll just be on this one here. Wait, so a fullback laying out a proper was run 20 metres through the lines of obstruction. This league is starting to become a joke. Uh, that was a bigger knock-on. Okay, not going to read the rest of that one out. Uh, <laughs> Damn, there is some not great comments here. So he's got that try through Wi-Fi fingers. <laughs> oh, man. Big old yikes. Big old yikes. Couldn't let the poster boys go on the shed scoreless. <laughs> it's funny because Panthers fans will complain. Roosters fans will complain. Dear me, we're all over the shop. All over the shop. Give me one second here, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe, and give me one second. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I, d I agree, David. Don't worry, I agree with you. Don't worry, I agree with you. Zing on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Zing on. Oh, but my point, long story short, somehow the NRL makes more money when Panthers win. Yeah, like, I know what you were trying to say there. It's just that my brain's frazzled from this week. Trust me on that. So, right now, I'm just living. <laughs> now, right now, I'm just living. I'm barely living. Please give me a win on Saturday. I mean, I'll be very, a lot more, um, I'll be able to go back to being myself, is what I'll say. You're like, buy some pants. <laughs> so laugh with the $20 in donation. Oh, man. Buy some pants, he reckons. What I do need to go get, though, is a glass so I can put my Solo. Because I've got a, a bottle of Solo here. But I'm not going to be just drinking it out of the big old bottle. I'm just not going to do it, but I appreciate you, Thank you very much. How do you have a bong one-handed? <laughs> Bro, I haven't done that kind of stuff in like 15 years, man. Not 15, jeez. Like 12 years. Oh, I remember when I was 21, like 8 years ago. I remember when I was like 21, but like... Yeah, I haven't done that in ages. It might have been when I was in... No, nah, I wouldn't have done Chicago. No, it was like 8 years ago. I don't really do that. I know, apparently it's been like legalized and stuff like that in Australia. Is that true? I think I saw something about that the other day. Francois Nafahu says, so happy the Panthers are beating these little latte drinkers. It's latte sippers. <laughs> Francois, you dog. I see that Francois comments on your post too, but well, it's funny. He is uh, very much a Roosters hater and a Rabbitohs lover, that's for sure. Um... Sombrero wearing idiots. This has made my day. <laughs> well, they should be down 14-0. They should be down 14-0. Uh, Rice says, it's been meaning to ask, but why? Don't know if you can answer. On the Titans podcast, you said you would find out about what's going on with Isaac and why he hasn't been playing two minutes. Uh, unfortunately, Rice said, not the right time to ask. Um, I forgot about it last week, and unfortunately, there's just things that I can't tell you about that I can't ask this week, but... Um, if I get a chat to him on Saturday, I'll ask him, but I don't know if I'll say. Uh, Slapper says, medical is so easy to get on. No, but I heard that it's actually like being legalized, isn't it? I ain't done that stuff in like 60 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I know, is that, is that the best sport to know? That is actually the best sport to know. That is actually him, yeah. That is him. And hey, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? Ooh. See you later. <laughs> See you later. Keep on saying we have a drink. 
<laughs> this is the way I can do it. This is the way I can do it. Ooh. I'm a ghost. I'm a snake. Slippery snake. Uh, Wendy Botel's crap game, six points. Uh, you saying for the Roosters, Wendy? Because if you're saying, like, in general, it's actually going to be a pretty fun game to watch. Well, well, it's not amazing, but it's like it's a solid game. Solid game, but uh, yeah, yeah, Brad Schneider's definitely been really solid, uh, Cruz Mosson, but um, the Roosters haven't been good, yeah. The Roosters haven't been good, Panthers definitely haven't been better. Just went for a walk around Seabus. So there you go, Jai. There you go. There you go, the old Seabus. I need to go there and, and kick back and just let my mind buddy go, that's for sure. Players officially lost it. Oh, hey, Mitchell, you have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea, sir. Yes is the answer. Yes. Didn't know which try was crazy. Yeah, it was a great try. I want the Luai hit and repeat. I'm going to put that on my wall. Have my screensaver. I'm going to tattoo it on my forehead. Beats getting hooked on... What? The hell is that? I'm not going to read that out because it sounds dodgy. What is that? Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Yep. That's. Let's get off that kind of conversation. We're going down a deeper, darker path there. Yeah. We're going to move back around the lake. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Crap game for the Roosters, GJs to the Panthers. Ah, oh, it's half time. It's half time, Wendy. Don't worry, as a Titans fan, I can tell you, half time, things can change quickly. Davis is Haney or Garcia, quick take. Uh, well, Garcia looks like he's losing his mind, so. Uh, Rissy, Sotomayor, is Ali able to watch the game? Yeah, right behind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Woo! It's half time, Shammy. They'll come out running out here very soon. That's just no. <laughs> Due to broadcasting restrictions. Uh, verify your 18 nil prediction lead the points. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm going to vote tick then, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yep. Hey, Jimmy, look at this. Hey, Jimmy, look at that one. You like that? <laughs> do you like that one? Yeah, you're exactly right, Olivia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Rissy said, I'll be able to watch the game. Yeah, if you if you open your eyes, you better watch it. Usually, you watch it with your eyes. Uh, Passport says, if Sam Smith plays, how much are the Roosters winning by? Uh, they're not. <laughs> Reginald Riker says, Luai's hit. I'll be on smashing bro this week in New Zealand. Garcia's an interesting character. With that being said, man, like... A lot of what he's saying isn't actually crazy. It's just against the norm, is what I'll say. Renee says, I got the Doritos and watching the footy with my mate. Life is good. Life is good, Renee. Life is good. Jimmy James, uh, did you like that uh, prediction? It's a good prediction, wasn't it? Tom Gates open. I don't even know what time my brain opens um, flurry, so I would have no idea. <laughs> Adam Smart says, who's your favourite commentator of all time? Uh, Block a Roach. And who's the one you can't stand calling your games? Block a Roach. And who's the best coach in the NRL? Des Hasler. Not the Walker Brothers. You know why? Because they're not in the NRL. And they never will be. Never, 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 ever, never, ever, never, never, ever, never, never, ever, Adam Smart. Uh, but to answer your question truthfully, favourite commentator of all time has to be Hads. Has to be... Oh, no, so it has to be... Ra yeah, Rabbit Warren. It's always going to be Rabs. Uh, and then worst person to ever exist that's either a commentator or just in general, Blocker Roach. And the best coach of all time, Desi as well. This is not 21 questions. So Mitchell, Adam is not actually asking me who my favourite commentator is or anything else. Adam is uh, just trying to say something that will lead into Chris Walker or the Walker brothers uh, coming in as coach of the Titans, which is why... I replied to him in such a manner. Mm. Best sports man says, Garcia needs serious help. Ryan loses yeah. via insanity plea. <laughs> uh, who is New South Wales fullback for 2024? Help me please, I'm kidnapped. I'm not helping you. But I hope someone does. Uh, but New South Wales fullback for 24, I will say it's Tedesco. Anaconda is doing a limited edition minting of a dollar coins for each NRL team. Looks sick. Yeah, it does look mad. It does look mad. 
Brandy is up with Roach with the worst. Well, Brenton, I don't watch Channel 9, so I wouldn't really know. Oh, wait, no, Brandy's on Fox, isn't he? Yeah, Brandy's not that great. Yeah, I agree. How many hair transplants has Desi had? No way at that age you can have that hair. That fantastic. And is... I don't think you understand this, right? Desi is majestic. Right? Desi is majestic. And although I may have disagreements with the team, I believe in Desi. He's a beautiful man. He's a beautiful man. Brandy sucks, Flurry says. <laughs> oh... Well, it's half time here, guys. What should I make a prediction for with the second half? What should I make a prediction for? Brayshaw has two tries to spot the 60th minute. I don't think he's got a single one in that, those first two hits, does he? Um, Panthers. Oh, jeez. Can I see the play by play? Do you see Trisis on here? Does it show you Trisis? After refresh. Origin prediction, right now, if New South Wales lose, it's an issue. There is an issue if New South Wales lose. Does it tell you try assists on this, on NRL.com? I don't think it does. It gives you line break. Oh, tries is there. Dylan Edwards is the only one. Did Edwards set up the first try, did he? The Torova. Did Edwards set up the first one? Yeah, it does. Des with wet hair. Ah, oh, Desi, wet hair. Woo. Show you whiz. Dear me. x says, Edwards jumping in the spot two of a try of the year. Yeah, definitely not better than um, the Savvy Codes one, but a great try nonetheless. Here I am at 29 with the receding widow's peak. Seeing Desi with them luscious locks. It hurts. Yeah, well, I'm 30 and I've got some pretty strong hair still. I'm just always wearing a hat. Uh, young to score, Brett Neslick says, well, Brenton, jump on TBC Live and predict it. And I'll vote yes. Chris Mon says, what do you think about Kiri? Uh, I think he's getting older, is what I think. Des Hasler's hair or Nico Hines' wet hair? Ooh. Well, I've got to back my boy in. I've got to back in Desi. I've got to back in Desi there. I think Brad gets a 40 20 in the second half. Oh, go and predict it! I'm TBC goddamn life! Gee whiz. This guy... What's going on here? <laughs> JJ has changed his name from Help Me Please I'm Kidnapped to JJ and is now trying to ask me every position on the New South Wales Embassy. I will do a news... I will do an origin team prediction later on. Uh, Adam Smart says that Dan Ginane and a blocker drive me up the wall and I would have said Bells or Benny as the best coach and Desi Hasler as a close third. I oh, appreciate that, Adam Smart. Yeah. Yeah, appreciate that. I think you didn't like Desi, but you've got him. You got him there. Uh, but Blocker drives me so up the wall that I'm I'm close. If I have to listen to Blocker tomorrow, thank uh, honestly, thank God that I have church. Thank God that I have church because that helps me get through this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, as X-Rays I picked up Jaden Campbell for NRL Fantasy. Hopefully he's bringing some spark and attack for the Titans after coming back from injury. One can hope, bro. One can hope. If Des Hasler can't do it, Gold Coast 40 wins. I tip, I tips me the dog in the fight. Uh, the Titans are winning by 70 plus in the way again. Could see Justin Hobbs looking happy. Flores is innocent, Brandy. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Panthers lead 14 to arguably nil, but it's 14 6 on the scoreboard. Let's see how we go here in the second half. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. Just do it, son. Do it. A blocker needs to repent for his sins of commentary. Fair enough. But here we go. The Panthers. They'll get this ball. Luai gives it off here to Eisenhuth, and he'll get this ball to the 15. Okay, JJ. How, can I ask you your age? Can I ask you, are you over the age of 13? Are you allowed a YouTube account? Are you allowed a YouTube account, JJ? So as I yo, we'll get this ball here to the 30. We third tackle now. Second half dead already. <laughs> well, the atmosphere isn't great. I'm just, just up the chooks, he reckons. Fourth tackle went out to 40. Are we going over under 13 and a half, guys? 
in the chat. Are we saying JJ is over or under 13 and a half? Because JJ said Jason Saab is faster than Ronaldo, which is irrelevant to everything. All right, so it's going to be Daniel Tupo who gets his ball to the 30. Saab faster than a 40 year old Ronaldo. Shocking, shocking, Anders. It's crazy. <laughs> never would have assumed so crazy stuff. Never, never. How's Deji? Yes, good stuff. So third tackle up the Roosters and Egan Butcher gets his ball to the 50. Oh, my agent IQ Pocahontas. Fourth tackle for the Roosters at the 45. What are the Raiders going to get this year? Uh, probably around 11th. Maybe, maybe lower, but probably around 11th. I'd still probably say. Maybe 12th. All right, so left-hand side, and Sam Walker's going to put that ball up in the air. Bruce just grab it, take it down. Oh, oh, knock back. Panthers got it, and Lua is... Oh, that's a knock on Panthers. Who wins in a 100 sprint? Big out blocker. Bro, if I don't win, that'll give up. On a real, though, I've got a bad ankle, and I'm a big bloke. Blocker is a big bloke and has issues. But then again, we all have issues. I don't have issues. I, I back myself in legitimately. I I would not back myself much in... Yeah, I would not back myself much in running races, but I would against Blocker for sure. Roosters forwards are ineffective at the moment. Come on. Well, here we go. Roosters three minutes into the second half, and they're going to be 15 minutes after the line. Spencer Lenny should come back, do you reckon, JJ? Yeah, good call, Sam Jenkinson. Good call, removing that comment. That very stupid comment. So first tackle here, and Luke here at the back of the Tedesco. Tedesco, six again for the Roosters. Eight minutes out. Who's a better player, Tohu Harris or Nathan Hindmarsh? <laughs> Bro, are you serious? Second tackle here, eight minutes out. Nathan Hindmarsh. Tohu Harris is a great player, but he's not Nathan Hindmarsh. Watson. Oh, that's an obstruction if he doesn't, if he doesn't go down. Okay, pr apparently not. Apparently not. Sakurai's going to be more entertaining. Yeah, if there was a tray of pies to finish line block, I might pump me, that's for sure. Sam Walker at the back here to Suwalihi. Taking out the 10 for tackle. Paying a dollar one on JJ, Jazz, and Jay. Gee whiz. Right hand side off to Radley. Radley to Kiri. Kiri for tackle to Joe Manu. Kicks it through. And Brian to Oh, knock on. All right, Roosters, you have got your chance to get back in this race. <laughs> My pain now, Sloth would beat Blocker. Antonio's not beating shit. Antonio's not beating shit. <laughs> They're challenging this here, the Panthers, I think. On-field ruling is a knock on. But uh, they're challenging it. Of course, Teddy's on 16 super coach points. Yeah, Sam. Oh, it's a knock on Roosters first. That's actually probably a knock on Roosters first here. It's the head of Brian Tottle. And then, yeah, knock on Roosters. Wow, great challenge there by Brian Tottle. Yeah. Wow, great challenge by the Panthers. Great challenge. Still a scrum, but it is a knock-on against the Roosters' Panthers ball. Very, very lucky there. Oh, an honest winger. Yeah, absolutely. But, like, even if you are honest, that X Factor, it's very easy for you to be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's super easy for you to still be wrong there, but he was right. So is that macro mic stuff was good. Oh, you had some, did you? Yeah, the old macro mic. Still sponsoring the Gold Coast Titans. All right, right hand side and Isaac Tungle will get this ball here to the fifteen. Oh, knock on Panthers! Oh, ho, ho. thirty-six minutes to go of the game. Knock on Panthers. Renee, I'll be streaming today. Both games tomorrow, and two games on Sunday, and one game on Monday. On Saturday, Hainsey is going to be streaming for the Titans versus Dolphins game. There won't be a stream for Dragons Manly. Thirty-five minutes to go here in the game. Uh, 
Uh, Tot was the one that said lying's a sin. Yeah, he is. He is the one who said that, but... To be fair, he hasn't lied. Tegan says, who you got winning? Oh, I said the Panthers before the game started on my tipping stream on Tuesday. I said Panthers 1-12. to So far, it's been a pretty good prediction, but obviously it's a long way to go. It should be 14-0, though. The Roosters got to try in the first half that was wrong. So, first tackle now. Out the back again, and they'll be crunched out 15 out. <laughs> Off to Radley. Radley here to... Oh, no. Bad knock on their Roosters. Is that Nafahu White? I think so. Acid Crap says, since Wayne Bennett is off contract at the end of the year, and if Jason Demetrio doesn't work, all Panthers here. Brian Toto taking out the 35. Good run, first tackle. If Jason Demetrio doesn't work, what do you think Wayne will turn the money? He's too old now, Wayne, bro. I'm telling you, like, he may do a good job, but in the same sense, I don't think Wayne will go back to Sydney, man. I just don't. Wayne's in his 70s, man. Six again here with the Panthers. Wayne's in his 70s, like 72 or something. All right, left-hand side. But you don't want to be still doing that for, until you die, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's still got a good six, seven years on average in regards to, like, Australian men. You know, last 77, 78, 79 kind of deal is the average. So just live it up. Retire, man. You know, he's had, he's had a good career. Oh, slapper. Third tackle. That is to see. Letting us watch the Dragons by ourselves, dear me, sir. Yeah, good. 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 Bunnies are in no man's land. Oh, yeah, they are, but they will win tomorrow. Oh, that's a high tackle for sure against uh, Nat Butcher. That's a big old high tackle. Uh, Blaze did not give Jay the day off. Blaze needs. Especially Jay. <laughs> A year ago, a Simbin. Yeah, it was a year ago, exactly. But nowadays, it should be a Simbin right now. It should be. It should be a Simbin right now. If they want to be consistent, this is a bin. If they want to be consistent, this is a bin. Thirty-four minutes to go here of the game. NV says, NRL is just as bad as soccer now, it's sad. Uh, how? That was right across his face. How on earth is that? What? He just got whacked in the face, bro. What are you talking about? So it's a penalty. It's not a bin, though. It should have been. How are you saying that it's gotten to like that? Like, that's definitely a penalty, if not a bin. Alrighty, so first tackle now. It'll be the Panthers against the board of the 10. That's soft. Envy, you have no idea what you're talking about if you thought that was soft. If you thought that wasn't a penalty, then you have no idea what you're talking about. He hit him right across the cheek. Like, the way you acting like... Oh, bro, you have no idea. Third tackle now, five minutes out of the line. Sorry, but like I'm okay with hearing people's opinions, but with an opinion like that, that's a dumb opinion. Like, that's a straight-up stupid opinion if you don't believe that was a penalty. Straight-up stupid opinion. Now, I won't usually call that out, but man, like, you've got to understand. Play safety, man. He got hit across the cheeks on his face. Like, my gosh. Right hand side. Brad Schneider. Schneider here to Edwards. Edwards here right side. Easy try for the Panthers. Bang, bang. Thanks for coming. Sign up for the robot. Try time. Try time. Yeah, great acting. That blood looked real. <laughs> exactly right. The guy is bleeding, and then we get someone in chat saying. Um, that's soft. The guy is bleeding from the hit, and yet apparently it's soft. But try time there with the Panthers. Isaiah Yo. Yo to Schneider. Schneider Edwards. It's the Tango. Tango to Sonia Tarova. Try time. Double. Do you bet? Not really, Tegan. I used to. I used to, but I went down a pretty dark path with it all, so I stopped gambling. But the Panthers. They're gambling and winning right now. Up 8 and 6 with 13 minutes to go. Adam Smart says, What's your thoughts on Webster's comments that even if RTS has a cracker at fullback, he's still going back to the centers? Well, I would consider Chance and clock start of the centers if RTS kills it. But then again, like Chance is a lot younger, isn't he? Is Chance like 29, 28? Chance, Nickel, Clockstad, he's 28 years old, yeah. So, 
Chance is 28 going on 29. Roger, two of us are Sheck. It's what, 32? 30. I guess if you want an extra couple of years, you keep Chance there, but like, Roger's still only 30. I wouldn't necessarily hold it out. Pretty sure it was tomato sauce. <laughs> when you're actually stunned from the shot and can't play the ball, it's just good acting. <laughs> exactly, mate. They're very good actors in the NRL. Just like us as Australians. We're always acting that Australia exists. America, if you're watching, we don't exist. We're all paid actors. Still waiting for my check in the mail for uh, 30, 29, 30 years of hard work. Edwards! No, misses the kick. Stays at 12 points. 18-6. 18-6. By the way, Jimmy James, did you, please tell me you um, the reason why I I put the thumbs up to that uh, TBC Live prediction before is because I know that you can you know go against that. You did that right to get your points, yeah. <laughs> you did that, yeah. Uh, Jay, only if you call it a palmy and not a palmer. Who's calling what palmer? Who's what? Where? What? And how? And so I called sports, but nice to perma ban me about seven years ago. They tried taking me. Told me out of it, but I told him to do it. Tried signing up with different mobs over the years and got declined. I did that. I'm permanently banned from there. Um, also, uh, Ladbrokes now as well. Uh, but yeah, it's it's the right decision, bro. Trust me. It's the right decision. If you can control yourself, you do your best. But like, for me, it's a bit hard, especially when you're doing so much content with it. It's just always rubby league, rubby league, rubby league. So you kind of get tempted by it. But now I don't. No, no. Cheese Slapper, forget me from zero to six months. Get her in. Slapper, Slapper, providing the memberships for the for the BK Army, J12, six months in. So, is I, yo, he'll get this ball out to the 30, and it'll be four tackle. 30 minutes to go of the game, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new around to you. Edwards, he'll get this ball to the 40. That'll be 30 bucks, thanks. <laughs> It says, Roosters only need a high kick to either winger and they're right in the game. think this one is going to be a tight finish. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much the Roosters deserve to be as close as they are, but they are. But you've got to remember, there's no Nathan Cleary in this game. The Panthers are doing this with Bro Schneider, not Nathan Cleary. Oh, everyone else back to me. No points to me. Really? That's wild. Well, sorry, bro. I, didn't. I, thought, I was just joking. I thought you were going to be able to go against me and get the points because you should have them. That's my bad. I won't do that again. Uh, and it says, from what I've seen, if you perma ban from one, they all decline. I think it's all connected. No, not necessarily. No. They try to get me to a five ban. It's been seven. I'd absolutely still bet. Yeah, there you go. So Tedesco, we'll turn down the 44. Oh, no, he's offloaded, but it's gone. It's gone straight to the Panthers. And Mitch Kenny will give it off to Dylan Edwards. Edwards cuts it all the way across to the Luai. Do they have the space? Luai steps and Luai goes to the halfway point first tackle. Like I said, else's wait. So you ask the betting company to permanent, permanently ban for your life so you're unable to access it for life. Yeah. Yeah, for 100% bro, you can do that. They do. So Maverick Guy comes on and debuts here for the Panthers. Yeah, Lockie, I know you're not 18 yet, bro. I know you'll probably have a gamble, man, but I will advise you, it takes it can take you down a bad path, brother. Just be very, very cautious with it all. But yes, if you can see yourself going down a dark path, you can, uh, yeah, you can permanently ban yourself. So fourth tackle here, Mitch Kenny, right hand side of his eye. Yo, his eye, yo, at the back now to Schneider, Schneider at the back again to Edwards, Edwards to Tango, Tango to Turova, Turova for a hat trick, Turova for a hat trick, Turova hat trick. <laughs> house always wins, Jake, Daly, right. All right, now, the house of the Roosters at Allianz. They're not winning. 22 60 of the kit to come. This is crazy, man. I tipped the Panthers, but I didn't tip them 13 plus, that's for sure. I did not tip them 13 plus, that's for sure. Tarova, Tarova. Hattie Trick, Hattie Trick. Three tries for Tarova. There goes Schneider. Schneider Edwards. Edwards the Tango. Tango out to Tarova. Jeez, Tango might be the guy you need on Super Coach. He might be that guy, you know, super coach this year. The old house always wins. 
Foles Dawson wasn't brave enough. Brave enough for what? Oh, to tip the Panthers? No, I was pretty confident that... Like, it could go either way, but I was pretty confident the Panthers would win because they've still got a good enough team even without clearing. It's not like Brad Schneider's a bad half. So, I was pretty happy with it. Um, I never thought that plus, though. Never thought that ain't plus, though. I hope Taylor May and he hasn't seen any early balls since round one. <laughs> Come on, Bondi going to start a right? Nah, it's just to tell you what, they'll sell out, sell out a latte tomorrow. Oh, you got to feel for Norman, though. This is his birthday. This is what I'm in for in about a month. In about a month, this is what I'm in for. A home game against the Storm on my birthday, May 4. Man, the Roosters' day is a joke. Richard, this is what I say. Over, under-delivering on over-expectations. And Edwards will miss a kick, so it will stay 22 to 6. 22 to 6. Someone, someone says, My God, Kiri is so, so, so past his expiry date. Said this last week. Uh, Jai says, Panthers are just unbelievable. No team close at the moment. I agree. I agree. Uh, Breton says, Kiri, Hobbit feet were explosive. Jay says, You missed my birthday. You won't invite it anyway. When was your birthday, Jay? Mess it in the Discord if you want, rather than here. Fadiba says we beat the Storm last year. We'll beat him this year. Hopefully, Fadiba. Hopefully. So what team can, these black, can beat these Black Cats? It's only early in the season, but right now it's not looking likely for many at all, if any. Many. If any. Storm beat them. Not when it counts, though, Cryptic. Not when it counts. Uh, Olivia Kearney. Oh, Kieran needs to hit the gym. Kieran's about like 35 years old, bro. Pets play like it's Robbie Sevens. Good point there, Matt Thugger. Don't sleep with the Roosters attack if it clicks for 20 minutes. Like, yeah, but I really do think they need a new seven. A lot of teams are desperate for a seven right now, man. A lot of teams. Taylor May, he'll get taken down to the 45 for tackle. Uh, no, do share, Jay. Date, time, and place of birth, current residence, social security number, address, and body count. So the Roosters now, 25 metres out. He's 27, what do you mean? Are you talking about Kiri? Luke Kiri age. He's 32. He's a good old 32. Right by old age of 32. So is that the same age as Kizza? Kieran Foran? Kieran Foran's actually older than him. Uh, dear me. Fox has got plenty of time. Like, for what? Well, like, there is plenty of timing for the Roosters. It's only 16 points, but it's over. But uh, there is still plenty of time. Kira at the back there. Tedesco, Tedesco. Gives it off in a two bow. It's tackle at 20. There's no way Kira's in his 30s. He's 32, yeah. All right. Walker puts that up. But the Panthers will grab that one. Yeah, it's going to be a seven tackle set here. Seven tackle set for the Panthers. We said there's only two quality sevens in the game, being Hughes and Cleary. Have I missed anyone? Maybe Ben Hunt. You need help. You need help, if that's your thoughts. Hughes is probably... I'll go Cleary. What do we do? Cleary. These are not in order. Cleary, Moses, Hughes, Adam Reynolds, when he's not injured. Um... Shorty Jay's still cracking on, man. He is. He's still cracking on. Oh, it's gone backwards there for the Panthers. And we third tackle here at the 33. Who else? Ben Hunt, maybe. Yeah, Brooks is 5'8", not a halfback. Oh, Cherry Evans. Of course, someone, someone. Forgive me, mate. My brain's frazzled this way. But yes, Cherry Evans. Brooks is 5'8". He's not a halfback. Uh, he was a half-back at the Tigers, but mainly he's five it. Envy, so what's the chance of Dom Young getting a try? Uh, well, the Roosters have scored one try today. It was very controversial, so I'm going to say not much. Teams make too many mistakes against them. They make almost none, and that makes a massive difference. My brain can't fathom. Sam Jenkins says Moses and Reynolds are definitely a part of it, for sure. Nico needs to move to six. 
Moses, Cleary, top five. Um, uh, Cleary, Moses, Shears, Chezza, not in order, Chezza, and Reynolds. They kick that across, and it'll be Luai who grabs his ball. Probably should have thrown it back to Edwards. He does throw it back to Edwards. And now, Ed, oh, they're too good, the Panthers. They just are. They're too good. They're just too good, man. I would love a moment of just being able to watch my team be, you know, confident in themselves and be winning like this where we don't have to worry. All right. I'll get this ball now to the 40. Would I rather $1 million or Titans win the Premiership? I'll take the Titans Premiership, bro. bro put me a piece. Put me a piece, please. Government just passed 100 points of ID for social media account last night. We're all screwed now. Well, if you're doing the right thing, you're not. <laughs> and I don't think that would include YouTube, would it? Surely not. To be fair... Oh, that's a knock-on to Let's go. To be fair, though, I know for people like watching and whatnot, like, you don't understand it, but as content creator, I can understand why they would do that. Ton of boys hard, but number six, uh, but he doesn't miss. Yeah, I need him to have a big week this week, mate. I need him to have a big week, that's for sure. Harris, Savita, and Pezzett, not bad. Uh, is Harris, Savita still young? Is he not like 26? Channel Harris, Savita is 24. Close enough. I would, I would go say he's mid, like middle of the pack now, not young, young, but I get it. All right. So it'll be Schneider. Gives it off here to Guy. They'll be 10 metres out from the line. First tackle. They go left. Mitch Kenny. And another good tackle there by Radley. Second tackle. Oh, Schneider. They're going to beat him well here, the Panthers. They're going to beat him well. Yeah, Sam. You're going to be on live chat, bro. Not top chat. I had to learn that from Jay as well. Fourth tackle now. Three metres out. Don't mention Hutcho in this chat, like <laughs> the old Hutcho. Lil White, Brian Tottle, Tottle here at the 10. It'll be five out. Why the Roosters chip it on halfway? The try line opportunity was missed 10 minutes ago. All over shop. Oh. Oh, Brian Tottle, there's no way he scores. All right, fifth and last held up. It'll go back to the 10. No, this is why the Roosters... That's right. Uh, Branson says the cops can access private messages if you diss people online or... Decriminate pretty well. We like China will with social score uh, soon enough. Yeah, we're gonna get away from the politics, bro. I understand what you're talking about, but we'll get away from politics. All right, so dropout coming up here from the Roosters. Good work there by the Panthers. Twenty minutes to go through the game, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new out to you, and definitely go check out TBC Live. Pin comment in the chat. Let's claim some points there. This game is a bit dead, though, now. Roosters, they've been good with the short drop out tonight. And we'll not get that one. Panthers with the ball 20. This Roosters team is so confusing. Are they good or not? No, they're not. They're exactly what I expect them to be. They always under-deliver on over expectations. I've said it all season. I've said it all season. Second tag or left and side. This is from no Nathan Cleary here for the, the Panthers. Special prediction. Panthers hit 40 plus. Oh, now we're talking. Special prediction on TBC Live. Panthers hit 40 plus. And we'll put that there. Post. And it'll be a knock on here. Knock on. Gus was just saying commentary that's all scripted. What's all scripted? Game's been dead since the 20th minute. It kind of has been slapper, but this is why we've got this chat, you know? Pretty simple. When Roosters can't have a frantic game and rely on individual bursts and brilliance that they can't win, don't have the halves to beat teams that can't enter the, can enter the grind out with them. Um, well, they beat a Rabbitohs team, and which is a very struggling bottom of the table, Rabbitohs team, and they also beat... It was the other team, the Broncos, who are also struggling in the bottom four right now. The only team that they've lost to is Manly, who are in the top four. So it's like the Roosters, they definitely are under-delivering on their expectations. Sam says, so Desmond says, can we just give the Panthers a permission to read you and me? No, Titans are going to make a comeback, mate. 
Fatima said, if the Titans don't win this week, I see it's not going to be good for us. Oh, I can tell you right now. I ask our fans, if we lose or we're losing at halftime, please don't prove Willie Mason right and boo. Because I know it could happen. So that's going to be a penalty here to the Panthers. Sam Walker, Muppet. The under deliverers. The under deliverers, Richard. Hard to see a game like that when you've got the belief like he does in the team and individual players. Oh, wait, what's happening? He looked pissed at Tanner in the vlog. I'm not pissed at Tanner, man. I love Tan, man, but like, I was disappointed. But, like, and with that being said, like, I don't know how people expect me to be. Of course I'm going to be, like, annoyed. It's my team. It's my community. I've traveled all the way down there. We get beaten 13-0. Tanner's having an awful game. Forwards aren't providing any pre protection or they're just letting the pressure come straight to him. No one helped him, you know, and... I feel for Tanner, man, but, like, I'm not pissed off at him at all. I'll never be pissed off at him. I just wish that this team would find the answer. Too busy getting upset at the wrong things. Fourth tackle now, 25 metres out. Yo, Leota. Let me out from the line. So, fourth tackle. They give it off here to Isaiah Yo. Yo at the back of the Luai. Luai. Oh, that was nice there by Luai. Oh, Taylor May. Three metres out from the line. Fourth tackle. Exactly right, Mary Matataka. Thank you for someone who's not a Titans fan for acknowledging it. Forwards didn't provide a platform for Tanner. Absolutely. Six again, even the Panthers at 15. Wow, well, he first tackled the Panthers. No one talked about that in there. They just love to kick the boot into him. They love to kick the boot in and say that it's all Tanner's fault, this and that. It's a team game and he doesn't get any help. Oh. <laughs> Sam. The five metres out for the tackle. Fafita. Fafita and Tananana. So Zayo gives it off here to Schneider. Schneider here to Edwards. It should be a try. Isaac Tungo. Try time. Try time. I think so. No, maybe not. Maybe not. In all fairness, Hannah has had to steer the game uh, forwards. Just need to back him up. Yeah. Our forwards have been very underwhelming besides Santa this year. That's what I'm saying. Well, Jimmy was good. Jimmy Jolliffe was solid enough. Uh, and S. Clark was solid enough. Nah, no try held up. Oh! No, held up. Held up. You can save the cocks have nothing, Richard. Oh, maybe. Oh, I think that touches grass. I think this touches grass just. Here we go. Oh, I think it does. That's so close. I think he gets it. Oh, I'd call that. Oh, they said no point. I disagree. I disagree. I would have called that. Any underperforming forwards this week, I think, should lose their spot to Josiah if he plays well again this week. I would agree. I would agree. Sorry, not allowed to criticise. Mitchell says, uh, Tanner is just making it easy to start the season. He'll start trying when it matters. Exactly right, Mitchell. Get in on. Exactly right. Back your boy in. So Schneider now gives it off here to Leota. And Leota here will be 10 metres out from the line to fit tackle. I shared a tear for anybody that ruptures an ACL, man. I missed almost two years of football because they couldn't afford rehab. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That sucks to hear. Lou White. He'll get taken out five metres out. Let's fit tackle Luai. Oh, he didn't know. He didn't know. But yeah, Tino, he's a good bloke, dude. X-Fat says, uh, Tungo owners already got enough super coach points. Let's get some tries for May. Let's get, yeah, Terrell May. Yeah, or oh, unless you're saying Taylor May. Get Terrell May a try, please. He's the only rooster or panther I've got in this game. Uh, Tino will still be at every game. I don't know. 
I don't know if, if he'll be there this week with, with the ACL. Like, and he'll still be supporting for sure. But I think you'll have to wait a little bit before he comes out when he's done his, t- his ACL like that. <laughs> Having an ACL injury is the reason why I'm not in the NRL right now. You know what, Daz? I've never had an ACL injury, but same. If it wasn't for my ankle, my left ankle... Oh, boy. Nathan Cleary. Dear me. Exactly right, Jay. Hit the like button if you haven't already, guys. It's free on Thursdays. It is free on Thursdays. Edwards gets the ball to the 45. First tackle. Guys, hit that like button and subscribe. Do it right now. I will be here tomorrow. Oh, just let him play, son. Either one I own both. Good. What's um, Taylor May on? Terrell May is currently on... I'm going to refresh. What's he on? 50. I'll take it. With a break in at 24, I'll take it. I'd love him to get like a... I'd love him to get 65 plus, but... Hard in 14 odd minutes. I thought it was free on Friday. It's free on every day that ends in Y. So very limited time only. Tedesco on 62. That's your fault for captaining Tedesco against the Panthers, you muppet. Taylor is down by 22. He hasn't had much of the ball. Yikes. Right inside of Edwards. They're crushing this side of the field, though. Tedesco will grab that, but, like, they are crushing that side of the field. Oh, penalty, penalty. Wonder if the Caxton will still be open tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be open. It's past 12 o'clock. Pretty much everything will be closed before 12, but I'm pretty... Caxton on Good Friday, there's no way they wouldn't open. And it says, honestly, after the Tino Burton incident, I felt a certain way, but you have to be psycho if you don't feel for the guy. Any Dogs fan who actually thinks that that... Like, I get being passionate about the game, but like, Tino got a lot of hate and death threats and all this bullshit from that. And it's like, people take this shit way too seriously. Trust me, I found out this week. People take shit way too seriously. And it's like... Everyone wants to put their face out there, bro. And everyone wants to do... Like, play rugby league or be a content creator, all this sort of stuff. But, like... You don't get paid to do what you do. You get paid to deal with the shit. Because... <laughs> yeah, Tino... Dogs fans are crazy for what they said, bro. Okay? Crazy. And that's what their fan base is quite well known for. Roosters here. They'll get taken down. Brand Smith is six again. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. Yep. Tino was trying to break it up. He genuinely was, Daz. He genuinely was. Genuinely was. All right. It's the Roosters with the ball here at the 10. Connor Watson at the five. Richard Ruggers says, Teddy isn't throwing tries this tonight because the defense is too good. Yeah, absolutely. The Roosters haven't even had much of the ball in the attack in 20, but guess what, Dom Young? Oh, defense. Oh, well done. Well done. Lost ball there from the Roosters. And it'll be Panthers ball here at the 10. Wowee. Well done, Panthers. They deserve it. But I'll be one from one. Had a horror week of tipping last week, but I'll be one from one this week. I'm still, what, 15 and 8, so I'm still 7 tips ahead. I'll be 8 tips ahead from tonight. Tomorrow I took the rabbits and also... Oh, he's deaf. So he stayed in. Well, so he stayed in, it just comes down to the knock-on. He's still in there. I think he's trying to throw the ball back in, though, but, like, it's not... Okay, they're saying a knock on, yeah. Since when was Michael James back in the league? I think this game. <laughs> Lol, Anders, seriously, dude. People take it too seriously. you got to understand, at the end of the day, guys, all these guys are mates. Oh, what a deck Burton as well. Fatma says, people don't understand these people have lives too. Telling someone to kill themselves over an incident that wasn't when his fault was childish. Uh, Fatima, I, I'll get told... I counted 27 times after the Dragons game on Instagram. 27 times? That's me, let alone players. 
That's me, let alone players, man. It gives you a bit of an understanding. So the Panthers here, 15 metres out from their own line. Sam says, as if he lost that knock on, he pushed it backwards. I agree, Sam, but with that being said, the game's over, man. So it's like, whatever. The game's over. That is too good, man. That's too good. Megan Ball Sacks is 10 or 11 on a fighter. Absolutely, Megan Ball Sacks. He is. Really lovely bloke. One of the nicest blokes you'll meet. So, Zaya Yoga is born of the 35. I, I, I don't know, Nadi. I don't know how that was a knock on either. I thought that was probably backwards, but with that being said, it's game over. Lindsay Smith will take this ball down to the 45. Fifth tackle. And Schneider to Dom Young. Yeah, this Roosters team needs to have a bit of a look at themselves after this week. Easy to beat the Rabbitohs in their situation, but when you come up against a big time team without their big time player, what happened? What happened? I said I felt a certain way, I just liked it at the time, literally just that night, because I was salty, but in no way would I ever relate to those disgusting people, just want to clarify. I'm not saying that you are. Oh, am I missing something? Why do you get timed out? Oh, <laughs> just move on. Yeah, yeah, once he gets back, he, it'll be all good. You're all good, Anders, from now. So, 10 minutes to go here of the game, guys. Hit that like button and subscribe. Roosters knock on. I can't wait for Nwanga Nittawase to come to the NRL. Yeah, Nwanga Nittawase is a good player, man. But I did hear some great news that the Fiji... Fiji are looking to bring in a team... Fiji are looking to make it a team in the NRL, which is crazy news, bro. I would love that. They would definitely be my second team. Nothing will ever come close to the Gold Coast Titans. But that would be like a second team. Uh, fair enough, Jay. Uh, like I said, is it just me or the season is going fast? Like, we're already four rounds in. Oh, bro, this is the longest season in history. This is the longest season that I've ever felt in my life. Uh, son of a bitch. <laughs> this is the longest season ever, bro. What, we're only in round four? Is that what you're telling me? Rainbow's Adventures, I forgot you gave it the Titans. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Fit tackle at the Panthers. Dirty maze out. Tom Young's on 11 points in my fantasy team. Don't chase last week's points. Unless you got him this week. Uh, sorry, unless you had him before. Oh, they've killed this side. Oh, Isaac Tungle. And we're taking down four minutes out. Unless you already had him. But if you bought him in this week, joke's on you guys. Hey, imagine uh, captaining, captaining James Nesco on Civic Coast, guys. How funny. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Not me. I'll take Terrell May's. What's Terrell May on? He had him week one. There you go. 56 for Terrell, May. We take it. We take it. We take it. He'll probably get up to about 70. I like it. I like it. Oh, thank you. Longest season, I've backed the Broncos for the Premiership. Hey, Nathi. Hey, Nathi. I have to go to every single t game for the Gold Coast Titans home and away this season. Right now, do you think I'm feeling the energy? But I will be there, and I will support my team. But I'm going to be realistic, man. And tell you. <laughs> Can you guys give me a good team <laughs> to please create content for for once? That's all I ask. That's all I ask. <laughs> God, I hope I beat you this week. I'm still excited. You ain't going to break me. Oh, boy. Yeah? You wait till you hear what I tell you later on the night. Second tackle, you're 35 minutes out of the line. <laughs> You'll be broken by the weekend. All right, it's all right, and it's going to be Victor Radley taking down to the 25. Hmm. Now, to the left, gives it off into Silver Lee. Ravens Events says, Imagine Titans have won a grand final. I'm not surviving the night. I'm not surviving the night. I'm not surviving it. Won't survive the night that day. Will not survive the night that day. No sorry. Seven and a half minutes to go, guys. 
And Roosters get the offload away to Joe Manu to Walker. Walker kicks it through. That's going to be chopped out. Uh, Kip Scott or Joshua says, Hi, just join now. Welcome, bro. Appreciate you. Who do you support? I bought in Teddy for that Sheila from the Broncos, but didn't captain him. Does that make me a Muppet? Well, no, because Tedesco still had like a break even of like minus 50 or some shit, but it's just like, it's a one week kind of deal. At least you're not a Rabbits fan. <laughs> oh, boy. That same team that won a premiership 10 years ago, a grand final in the last five years and multiple prelims. Mm. So 35 metres out here from the line for the Roosters' first tackle. Yeah, people don't... It's like... It's very different being in my situation. Roosters here, look, then sides. So Ali will get taken down at the 25. The reason why you can see that I'm so dejected and so down is because I have to have an answer for people that I don't have an answer for. You know, like I have to go to every game. Like I have to deal with the opposition fans. I've got to deal with them online and offline. I've got to deal with our fans. Whether they disagree or agree with me or if I they need answers from me or do or whatnot. You know, like I've got to deal with the club as well. Oh, Roosters here. That's six again. No, it's still fifth tackle. Oh, it was third tackle. I'll get the off right away. I've got to deal with the club and whatnot. You know, I've... It's just like, there's no way, unless the team's winning, you just can't win. <laughs> and then when we're winning, I have opposition fans just like coming from my throat. Oh, Trump May! Come on, score a try for Simicoach. Oh, try top of the Roosters. Try top of the Roosters. Brandon Smith. Brandon Smith with five minutes to go here. Brandon Smith will score a try. 22 to 10 with the kid to come. There's still technically time. It's not going to happen, but technically there's time. I did tip Penrith, Kip Scott or Joshua. I did tip Penrith. Rambo's Adventure said, I don't think Titans have many fans. Yeah, well, I don't think that you have a loving mother. All right, so there you go. Dad's mate says, South is the third youngest team by the Titans and Dolphins. <laughs> yeah, Rambo's Adventures, man, I don't think you have an IQ above 60. I think you probably also probably support a shit team and your dad's still going out to get the milk, mate. So... You know, it's unfortunate for you that you don't have a father figure in your life, but at least he'll bring back milk in about 60 years for you, all right, Sonny Jim? x says, when Brand Smith gets a quick play ball, he's 100% going for the line from a metre out. Yeah, exactly right, you're right, yeah. Brand says, I'm really starting to despise Penrith. Here he is. Hey, Anders. <laughs> Anders says, Brandon never comes during Rooster's streams. Yeah, well, welcome. Welcome, Brandon Wesseling. Thomas says, Raymond, they have more fans than you... <laughs> your sister's only fans. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, we're gonna stop insulting this guy, but it's like, man, read the room. Does it really look like I'm gonna take having our team insulted right now, mate? It really does it really look like we're gonna take that? Come on, man. Four minutes forty one to go here the game. Hey, but link us up with your sister's only fans, but four minutes forty one to go here at the game. Santa has been around for the channel for a while, I wonder what triggered him. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't maybe I just don't think he reads the room. I don't think Ramos Adventures is being a dick for the pure sake of being a dick. I just think that he's not reading the room. It can be tough sometimes, man. Like obviously there's a lot of banter to be having and whatnot, but you can very clearly see in the way that I am right now, it's like, ooh, not the time. Um <laughs> Okay, okay. We're going to move on from that one. So the Roosters here for third tackle, 45 metres out. If they score here, it's game on. Could you imagine they win this game? Could you imagine they find a way? Right-hand side. It's going to be Terrell May. Terrell May, fourth tackle here at the 45. Four minutes. They would have to score like this set or just the next set. 69 points to Terrell May. I'm taking that to the bank, baby. Taking that. Joe Mine looking for anything. Joe Mine's still going here. And we're taking that at 45. Should put a TPC prediction that Brendan Wesson complains about the refs in the last 30 minutes of the game. Well, there's three and a half minutes to go, so. <laughs> but, biz out. Go and predict it on TPC Live. Oh, Kiri! Tupo. It's fit tackle. It's fit tackle, buddy. It's fit tackle, buddy. It's fit tackle, buddy. It's fit tackle, buddy. Change over. 
Chamba. I had to reboot my phone. Things were going backwards. Know all about that. Torovas lost the ball. Okay, Roosters. There's an opportunity. There is an opportunity here for the Roosters. Victor Rally taking down the 25. If they score here, this Roosters team could surprise. There's no way they find a way to win this game. They would be the most undeserving winners of this game I've ever seen if they found a way to win. But it would be like they deserve it, but they don't deserve it. <laughs> Left-hand side, Brand Smith to Kiri. Kiri at the back into Tedesco. Tedesco to Suwali'i. Suwali'i 10 leads out of the line. Second tackle now. Right-hand side off to Kiri. Kiri underneath him. Maria Hargraves, four metres out, third tackle. They score here. This game has a buddy chance. Kiri gives it off here to Tedesco. Kicks it through. Uh, it's going to be a dropout. Oh, they've, they're probably not going to win now. It probably is the game, to be fair. They can waste 40 seconds. It'll go down to about minute 35. They still need to score twice. At least they don't have to take the conversion. They can say, I don't want to take the conversion, then just go over the, the try. It, it's hard. It's very... Oh, it's hard. I agree, Sam. If they can score before a minute, I would then say uh, to not take the conversion and then just get the ball back. They have to score in the next 40 seconds. But they're not going to win this game. But they had the opportunity. And the Roosters don't deserve to win anyway. They have the back here to Kiri. Kiri, short ball! Oh, Crichton nearly got through there. Second tackle. They have to score now, Roosters. They have to score now. They will stop the clock after this, though, won't they, if they score? Sam Walker underneath here to Joey Manu. Offloads out to Radley. Radley here at the back of Sam Walker. All the Panthers players are over there. So guess what? Run left. Terrell May. Terrell May. Terrell May. Six minutes out of the line. Minute five to go here. If they score here, there is a very, very minuscule opportunity. Six again here. I'd been him. 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 It, oh, bro. Brad Schneider, man. There's no way you wouldn't been here. That's clearly a professional foul. No worries, Renee. We'll see you tomorrow. That's definitely a bin. Absolutely, Brandon Esley. That absolutely should have been a bin. Victor Radley. That's game over now. There's no way they win now. There's no way they win now. Kiri to Walker to Tedesco. Tedesco, left hand side. Two poach. Try right time. Don't take the kick. Don't take the kick. If I'm you, Roosters, don't take the kick. Go back to halfway. Clock it off. 27 seconds, 26, 25. They will still get an opportunity, but you do not take the kick here. You do not take the kick of the Roosters. You do not take the kick. You say, nut, nah, and you go back to halfway, and now just throw the ball around. But the Roosters, six-point game. Six-point game here. There is a very minuscule chance. That tavern was fancy, though. Yeah, it was nice. If they win, I'll do a nerdy run. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is a very nice flick on there from uh, Suwali'i. Sam's just... Oh, nice try. That's the death strat that works. Reset until penalty. Well, 24 seconds to go here. They will not take the kick. I told you guys they won't do it. They will decline the kick, so they will have 24 seconds here to, convert, to score a convert try. I don't think a lot of people know this rule. A lot of people don't know this rule. You can choose... You can choose to not... Take a kick. Alright. 24 seconds. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. Here we go. Who wins? Comment in the chat. Roosters or the Panthers? Big, big old opportunity right now. Jeez, 522 votes and 52% of votes for the Roosters. Crazy. Lol to the Roosters fans that left early, Desmond says. Yeah, well, this would be a crazy miracle. Take a forward hit up and throw it around. I agree. Yep, that's the one. Lagan ball sacks. That is the one. All right, the Panthers here. They will go long. 20 seconds to go. Dom Young gives it across here. Terrell May gets some super coach points. He'll get this ball here to the 12. 
10 seconds to go in the game. You just gotta throw this ball around. Radley to Kiri. Oh, that's gonna be knocked back, and that's game over. Well done, Tungo. Well done, under not Tungo, Taylor May. That is smart from Taylor May. That is smart from Taylor May. Just knock the ball down, goes over the sideline, and that's game over. It might be a knock on Panthers, but it doesn't matter because the game is over done. Over done. So there we go, guys. Final score, 22 to 16. Um, Panthers deserved the win. Roosters made a little bit of a comeback. Uh, but at the end of the day, the old Penny Panthers, even though no Nathan Cleary, they just were able to find a damn well way and win 22 16. I think I called 6 to 8 points. So I got this game spot on, actually. Uh, but guys, we're done it for the day. I'm going to rest up. I'm going to head to bed. Uh, see you guys tomorrow for a good Friday. We'll be here for Rabbitohs Bulldogs, and we will be here for the Broncos versus the Cowboys. But guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.